Okay, this is episode seven. I guess I'm going to just do intros after I fucking do the podcast, if that makes sense. But uh, this one was with the homie Abraham and uh, Ignacio, a.k.a. Nacho. They came up last night from um, San Jose, got here on 8.30, did a podcast, two-hour podcast, kicked it a little bit after, then they drove back, so fucking savages for uh, trooping through that. Um, But yeah, it was a great podcast, by far my uh, favorite one I've done so far, and um, talked a lot about Abraham's experiences so far in LA, going to recording or engineering school, producing school, and uh, yeah, it was interesting. Super fucking fun, and um, I had technical difficulties at the end. The fucking camera shut off. It does this like every other podcast, but I, f- I figured out why. So the last 20 minutes, there's going to be no video, but oh well, fucking sucks, but uh, yeah, all right. F- favorite podcast I've done, appreciate it, and I um, hope you guys enjoy it. Here it is. What's up? What's up, buddy? What the fuck is going on, dude? Long. This is... We needed this, huh? When's the last time that... I guess not the last time I saw you, but when's the last time we made music? 2000, was it 2017 Shit. or 2018? In my mom's garage. It was a long time ago. We were 21. Uh, seven, it had to have been beginning of 17, if yeah. anything. Yeah, so we were 21. Because when did you move? 2018, summer 2018. Yeah, it had to have been uh, 17 then. Yeah, that's when the last time. That's when we recorded all of that. Of your recent project, pretty much yeah. all the songs that I that I was in there, in there with, pretty much. And you're no longer in San Jose. No, I moved to uh, L.A. Um, with my girl. We've been there for like uh, a year now, and I go to the uh, the Los Angeles Film School in Sunset, just trying to be an engineer. Feel me? Yeah. <sighs> I guess how what is how LA, that what is, what well how does that happen but what is LA like compared to San Jose I mean because what I hear in the news and shit LA looks like a fucking it's pretty gnarly out there it's well, where I live it's pretty gnarly I live right in the dick of downtown bro it's like no joke you scroll out of the map and wherever where you see the S in Los Angeles pin drop that shit I'm on that shit. so you see all walks of life oh. every single person you can think of that inhabits the world you see it Bro, there's fucking, I, there's dudes that I like would see, for the same dude for the for a week straight, and he'd be on the same street. He'd be <laughs> in the Seven Eleven. Yep. And yeah, they how, never asked me for money though, so that's you know, really yeah respect. How do you compare it to San Jose? Do you do you regret moving? Fuck no. Oh really? Fuck no. I I mean San Jose, you know, we're born and raised there. You know, it's always gonna have that piece of our heart. We, our family's there. Yeah, too, yeah. But. Uh, I, during that whole time of me deciding to go to school, I was all, dude, I'm, I feel like I'm stuck with like from the ages, like 21 to like 23, I was all, dude, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. I was like, I feel like I'm too, I was like relying on my parents way too much. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I need to, I like, that was the time when like my brother moved, he moved to San Diego, he got his engineering degree and I was like, dude, that dude's doing it. Like I want to, I'm tired of being not the not the golden child, you know, I want to be the golden child for yeah. once, you know, I was like, I want to do something that, that I like, that's like so out of the ordinary. Is that, was that hard to like tell your parents? Hell, dude, you're... I was nervous. I've never been more nervous to, cause my, my parents are super, uh, what is it like? Uh, super, uh, school like mentality. Like oh they, yeah. They, yeah. Like no, super, most, most parents are super education oriented, yeah, you know? Yeah. And cause the, like the, like the path my brother took, he was like, he was always on point with school. Like Lee, Lee high school, 3.0, 3.0, 3.0. 3.0. And then me, when I went to high school, you know, it was a fucking 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. I was a yeah. fucking, yeah. I was a shit stain. <laughs> but like, how do you, how do you come at your parents with that? Where you're like, I want to do this producing shit, engineering shit. I want to move to LA. Is it, cause what I is knew, the reaction? Cause I knew, I knew. I'm never going to stop doing this. Uh-huh. I was all, this is always going to have a piece of me. Yeah. So I was all, I mean, I might as well go and get a degree for it. So my dad doesn't look at me like I don't have a degree, you know? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I'm learning shit now. I thought I was going to go and not learn a damn thing. I was like, bro, I'm, I'm the, I'm the shit, you know, I, I, I know all this shit. I don't have to do anything. Is that because you started off self-taught kind of, right? Because when I was making yeah, music with you, too. you weren't really doing like cl- Official classes, you were just like, because YouTube can teach you a fucking shitload. Yeah. But you were just, we, you'd show up to my, you'd come to my garage, bring your speakers over, and you would just do your shit off the fly. Mm -hmm. Just know how to do it. So do you think going to school is, 
I guess, worth it? Or like, are you learning shit that you'd think you wouldn't learn if you wasn't for uh, teachers? If you, if you have the the financial, you know, stability to yeah. do it, yeah. I would say go, you know, you might learn something. You'll meet a lot of people too. Like I, yeah. I moved to LA and I was all, bro, I don't know a fucking soul out here. Mm -hmm. I was like, I just, I wake up, uh, I make some beats, hit some fucking sticks and, <laughs> and I go back to bed, you know? So yeah. I was like yeah. the first couple months when I moved out there, I was all, bro, I'm not doing a fucking thing, but yeah, that's, what was your question? <laughs> Well, I guess is school. Oh, is it worth is it? it? Is school it worth, worth it? It's no. You don't. You don't need to go to school, bro. Because you, you can learn all that shit on YouTube. But do you get a like? Because this is a specific, a real specific fucking uh, path. Yeah. Do you get like a degree? Because you could. People yeah. People fucking I, make it off YouTube just self taught shit all the time. You know. No, yeah. That's how. That's how I am. I'm. I'm super self taught. I was only doing YouTube. Yeah, yeah. You look up YouTube, the, bro. Like those. It, like those internet money beat tutorials like i grew yeah. like that's yeah. that's how that's how i started making beats yep. and like uh i bought my little machine pad yep and i was uh you know sampling some shit i was mm -hmm. like oh fuck all right i can do this but you know everyone starts off like dog shit so that's that's how i was i was just not even listening to like a metronome and um my boy uh memo uh when i when i wanted to start making beats i downloaded fl studio and i was like all right i need like a piano or something i need to I need a keyboard of some sort. Yeah, yeah. So like to start going. So I went to Memo and I, I, I Memo I remember, Alteria? I, yep. I what's remember, up, Memo? Yeah, yeah, what's up? That's Hell my yeah. guy. Uh, I remember he to he brought his MIDI keyboard to the library, yep. and then yeah. I was watching him on Logic, and I was all, "What the fuck? This is this shit's sick. Like yep. this is cool." Yeah. But and then dude, and it's crazy because like three years later, that's when I like actually hit him up, and I was all, "Hey, bro, do you still have that MIDI keyboard? Can I <laughs> can I buy that shit off you?" Yeah. He goes, he goes, yeah, dude. I was, and I was, I told him, I was like, how much is, um, like, he goes, how much do you want for it? And he goes, bro, just give me 30 bucks and it's yours. I was all, say less. Wow. I drove to his house. I, wow. I grabbed it. And, um, yeah, that, the rest is in the making, you know? Do you, are you meeting people? Like, LA is the mecca of, like, entertainment. And I want to be a fucking star. I want to be a fuck. I'm going to be the next big fucking thing. Yeah, and, that, you, and, and, that, and that's, that? not, that's not the reason I'm there, you know? I'm I'm there because of the the school. I've heard great things about the yeah. school, so it's like that's why I'm there. It just happens to be in the fucking yeah, and right there in L.A. But nah, I mean that you. I'm 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 just meeting people from my school. You know, I wanna like I I wanna get close to them. I wanna you know network with them. I wanna yeah. be cool with them. You know, are people? But do you see people? Because I feel like the narcissism level is super fucking high in LA, where it's like, oh, oh I'm yeah. gonna be the next big fucking thing. Oh, bro, there's look at me, look seven, at me. Seventy for seventy five percent of the people in my class are like like that. Like they think they're there already. They're dude, bro. Like okay, but I I, I I I don't know. Honestly, I hope this full season, but <laughs> I, I've ne I've never I've never I've never. I, I, I don't, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name drop him. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, my bad. This is my boy Nacho. He uh, he came to came all the all the way out here to Rockland with me. Uh, Hell but yeah. He um, yeah. So there was this dude, and he was like, "Yeah, bro, I went to a recording school in, in ATL." He goes, he goes, I don't even. He goes, I already know all this shit. Blah blah. blah. And as soon as this fucking teacher told him to do some shit, he goes. Oh, uh, so what you mean? What you actually mean? Like, bro, I was like, bro, get the fuck out of here, dude. I was but, all, like, get off the board, bitch. But like, does that is does that exhaust? Because you're, I've worked with you, obviously. I mean, I've known you since fucking middle school. But like, when I work with you, it's never been like a, a business thing. It's like, all right, homie, you want to come through? Well, I'll, I'll yeah. help you put this, we'll set some shit up. But like, you're humble dealing with people like that. Does it drain your fucking energy being around people? Because L.A., I'm telling you, like, the, what I've heard of L.A. is just narcissistic. Look at me. I'm no, going to be if, a... No, if, if anything, dude, it makes you steer away from being that because you're seeing it so much. Yeah. So I think it shapes you to be way better okay. if, if you have that right mentality. But if you're, if you're feeding off to what they're saying like that and it's yeah. like, oh, well, fuck, I, I got to be like that too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Like, like, don't get me wrong. You talk your shit. Be, yeah. be dope about your shit, but you got to show it. You got to show it. That motherfucker probably doesn't have a song out. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, I just... I was talking to Adrian about this, but, like, I feel like a lot of people jump on the bandwagon of, like, I'm going to just 
jump into the rap game. I'm going to jump into the producer game. Facts. You've been doing this shit for, I've been doing this shit. Me and you have been making music since we were fucking, I don't know, even before. Right out of 20- high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were in high school still doing yeah. it, right? Towards the end. Uh, that's when I was like, kind of like messing with it. But yeah. Like I used to have this, uh, this desktop computer that was trash. That shit was fucking riddled with porn. I swear to God, bro. Bro, I would fucking... Shout out Augustine. Shout out right fucking now. No, bro. Swear, swear, to swear to God. Let's podcast right now. Let's go watch some shit. <laughs> no, I swear, bro. Like, this this thing, like... I, I don't know if you've been to my pad, but that, like, little office area... Oh, in the back? Yeah. In the back area? No, 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 not there. Not, oh, okay. not, my, not my grandma's pad. That's like, what I was back. thinking No, of. no. It's like, the, it's like this little... It's like a little fucking oh. area. My dad built it, and... It was it was perfect, you know. Yeah. When I like first started making beats, because it was like, it was like my own enclosed area, you yep. know. I, my brother cause was still living with us, and I was just in my own area there. But when I I downloaded this uh, this free trial beat maker shit, God. this was in this was senior year in high school, and bro, it took like three days to download. <laughs> yeah. I I had to get like a cracked shit. Yeah. Because it was a free trial, and then I was all. No, I want to like use it. Yeah. Free trial, motherfucker. It has the beat made for you. Yeah. The fuck am I gonna do with that? So yeah. I deleted all that, and then when I tried to make my own shit, I was like, oh nope, you need to purchase it. And I was all, <laughs> uh, no, I have LimeWire, idiot, <laughs> dumbass. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I so I got it. The LimeWire said three days. I left the computer on for three days. Oh my god, I downloaded that shit. It came with seventeen other applications that I don't know anything nice. about. Nice. I'm pretty sure they know my social. Oh yeah. For sure. Fuck yeah, dude. There's an Abraham rule was out there, bro. There <laughs> has to be, dude. Yeah. But yeah, I downloaded that and then I was all cool. Don't know how to use it. Never touched it again. And then like probably a year later, I downloaded I, I was I, I watched hella YouTube videos before I downloaded yeah. uh, FL Studio. Oh yeah. So I was like, all right, this is cool. So I downloaded it and then I was like, okay, I kind of know what I'm doing here. And then from there you just you learn little things. Off YouTube, off YouTube, off YouTube. So back to what you were saying, if you needed a degree for it, fuck no. Like, dude, like, no yeah. no hate to anybody going to my school right now that's doing the music production degree. Like, they're going to school to learn how to make beats. Yeah. Like, you don't have to, dude, YouTube's yeah. going to probably teach you more. The one thing that they'll teach you, though, is music theory. So I, yeah. took, I took music theory one, which is like the first music theory. And I, I, like, learned some shit. Like, I learned some scales and stuff. And I was like, okay, this is cool. Like, they, they train you on your metronome. Like, hearing oh, yeah, and shit. yeah, yeah, so yeah. So, if someone who's... If you've never tried to make beats ever, and you go to school and you want to do music production, that's cool. Because you're going to learn shit off the bat. But if you've been making beats and you want to be, like, some fucking big movies, like, some big producer or whatever, yeah. I mean, it ain't worth it. Because YouTube's going to be everything there for you. Yeah, I mean... Um, I just feel like in, in LA, you're just around a bunch of fucking people that have, are on the same wavelength, you know, that want to do the same shit. That's what, that, that's, that's what I love the most about it is I'm, Mm -hmm. I'm seeing, uh, I'm meeting people who, uh, like, even though there's a lot of fucking egotistical fucking idiots that, that are in like that school too. But like, I got, uh, you know, I, I met, um, this, my, my boy's name's, uh, Hank. Hank Plummer, shout out Hank. Um, shout out Hank. He, he's that guy. He that guy's got the same mentality. I mean, when it comes to music, like, but does that he, motivate you? Yeah, hell yeah. Cause when he came over one night, and I was like, bro, let's make some beats and let's go out and get hammered after. All right, cool. He came, he slid, and he's all, show me some shit you've been making. I was like, okay, cool. I showed him my beats, like my style of beats, and then when he plugged in his computer, I was expecting kind of like the same styles. Like, I was, he was gonna play. Trap music, same shit as me. Yeah, Fuck yeah. no, dude. He was playing like, like he was a completely different genre. He was, he was doing like a like R and B, like the weekend type shit, like wow. like some super cool. like eighties techno type shit. Yeah. And I was all, bro, you're really fucking good. Yeah, kids nineteen. Oh wow, kids nineteen. And I was all, bro, like I'm fuck, I'm twenty five. I was like, I and I'm I'm learning shit from you. That that motivated that motivated me to like start making a just branch out, do a different genre. Yeah, I got fucking bored of making trap beats, so and then I stopped making beats for like three months, and I was all, I'm just gonna start making weird shit. And well, there's see how two, it comes there's out. two things I want to ask you, but I yeah. guess just from this Hank dude, because I, me and you, you're August 29th, uh, August 26th. I'm August 27th. Great friend. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
and you meet a fucking dude named Hank and he's 19 and he's just killing these R&B beats. Mm-hmm. Do you ever compare yourself and be like, oh, dude, this fool's younger than me. He's killing it. Yeah, I'm old course, as fuck. Even though you're not old at all. No, like, yeah, no. I feel. I, I feel like I'm old I, as fuck. I, 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 t- I tell him that too. I'm like, damn, bro, you're fucking young as hell. Yeah, dude. And that fool still goes out to the bars with me and shit. And like, <laughs> he's got his little fake ID and shit. Yeah, and it, and it's yeah. like, like he's he's me. Yeah. Just a couple years back. Yeah, you know, yeah, He's the yeah, same yeah. guy. Yeah. And... No, like I, I, Does it I, make I you it's insecure? motivation. Does it make you insecure Fuck, ever? No. Good. That's because good. because that's he, good he's hear. he's a very humble dude. So it's okay. like I was all like, dude, you're really fucking good for your age. When you're my age, you're gonna be a yeah. fucking goat, you know. Yeah. And it's like that. That's why it it it, it motivated me because I heard those beats and I was like, damn, dude, I want I want to try that style, you know. Get I don't really I don't really make that style, so I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot. And yeah, I'm raw as shit. So obviously those came out dope. Yeah, yeah. Oh you know? yeah. But I'm, I'm not, being, I'm not being a cocky that. idiot. I'm just saying, like, I, I just wanted to branch out and try a new style. What is and, 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 and it came out great, you know? I did a couple a couple tracks that just sounded... I don't know if you listen to... Uh, I know I know your music is, you know... I was going to ask you... Yeah, uh, keep going. We'll get into that, yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, uh, the Tory Lane's recent album. I was talking Nacho about it. Um, Couldn't tell you. It's, it's, it's like, super... Um, 80s. 80s pop type vibe. Uh, well, I like, fucking like love old, 80s like music. Old weekend, like oh, okay. yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? And it, it was, synth, it was it, a lot of synth. Yeah, 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 yeah very, yeah, very yeah, synthy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I'm not, I'm not used to using very like synthy power chord, like very power chords like that, and like that, that four on the four, the boom. Yeah, boom. But if you, if you, if you didn't meet someone like that, like Hank, or whatever, who, who would have known? You know. But not just that. Would you? Because I wanted to talk to you about boredom, as in like, because as an artist, as a producer, I'm a rapper. You're a producer. We create. We have to like create shit. And you have to be constantly on it, you know. But you can't always be constant. You Fuck, might be fucking no. bored, dude. No. You might have fucking. You're like, I don't want to fucking do this shit right now. Dude, so if you didn't okay. hear this yeah. fucking dude Hank or whatever, who knows? You might have been like, I don't want to fucking make music. No, no at all. lie. If he if he would have, fuck, dude. Like if he would have never came over that day and showed me his music, I would have been like, uh, <clears throat> I would have been in the same position where it's like, I'm fine. You know, I'm good. I'm just gonna wait it out, finish school. Yeah. You know, try to do all, try to do everything. Yeah. But I heard that, and I'm like, damn, dude. Like, in a year, you're passing. You're probably already passing me. I was like, I'm not gonna let people pass me. You yeah. know, oh, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't want to be that, that, that dude who's just like, oh, dude, what could have been? Like, we, like he started out. He wasted his whole fucking life doing all this music shit just to do nothing with it. Yeah. You know. So, it, but it, bore, back to what you're saying about boredom. I was on, dude, is the, the, I moved to LA February. Uh, my girl moved in December. 20, 2021 or 2020? Uh, 2020. 2020. So yeah. before COVID, yeah. right, be, uh, right before COVID. Yeah, my guy helped me move out there. Um, okay. He, yeah. I, I told him, the, I told him the night before, I'm the like, bro, before. I'm moving to LA. Can you help me? Real one right no, here. No, dude, dude, that's what my brother says too. He goes, dude, that's a friend right there. Mm. You know, hang on to him. But yeah, no, he's, Fuck he's been yeah. there from the beginning. Night you know? before he goes, hey, I need help moving. When He's like, when are you moving? Tomorrow, I'm like, motherfucker. I was like, yeah. and you still did it. I was like, I, I'll call off right now. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Called out of work. Called bro. off off work immediately. That's the thing oh is, God, you know what I mean? bringing back like the whole narcissism and like meeting people. Like, yeah. I feel like I haven't gotten too deep into the game where like he has to start networking with other artists, and I feel like a lot of them don't give a fuck about you because they care about themselves. Someone like that. These are people that you have to cherish as super, in like part super, of your team. Super rare though, you know. It's, it's, but that's sad though, isn't it? Because that is rare. And it's fucked it's up. It's rare to have only you probably only have one homie that'll do that for you. Yeah. The like, rest of your well, homies like, are like, oh no, my bad, bro. I'm busy. Like, li- hold on, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally today. Yeah, I'm gonna go on this bike. I don't want to drive alone. I fucking got you. I'm off at this. I time. know. I'm okay. I, I'm, I wasn't fucking scared of like <laughs> getting kidnapped or something. I, didn't say you were saying, I was. I just said you didn't want to do the I, ju- I just told him I was all, hey, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm going out to Rockland. Yeah. I don't want to do this three-hour drive. You know, you're trying to come kick it, keep me company. Yeah. But Kiss even, me. do you yeah. have? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know. Shut up and say. Do you have a musical background? I don't. So I don't. I don't. Even without a musical background. Let's say you were to make you, you it. You can connect those tendencies to other people. This would be somebody that you bring along, even though he doesn't know how to produce shit. That's someone that you need on your team because I feel like, especially when I talk about narcissism in, in L.A., I feel like a lot of people move down there. They're, they have these big fucking dreams, and then the people around them are just a bunch of fucking snakes. And they fuck them up. And that's yeah. why I've only I've dabbled very small into the rap game. And even the producers that I buy beats off of, they don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. You might pay them money. Like, hey, you have to pay me up front, and then I'll give you the beat. Where's my beat, bro? 
they don't give a, it's all just a stingy, do you feel like it's a, because this is obviously your passion, just like it's my passion, do you ever feel like it's kind of a fucking shady game to fucking play in, dude? I mean, I mean a every, lot of people are fucking in it for it's themselves. It's a saturated market, bro. Yep. Everyone's trying to be out there. Yeah. Like, the, the, there's producers who be like, yo, buy this beat, and then it'll be like, oh, all you have to do, you can, no, they'll be like, you can have this these this 10 pack for free if you follow if, my twitter yeah. my instagram uh, you subscribe to the email shit and then the email is just uh them telling you to go to their website and buy more beats you know exactly. it's, it's it's smart it's smart but it's a it's fucking, so saturated it's and fake it's an ex- it's fake and that's the thing is everyone in since i've tried to dabble in this game everyone is really just in it for themselves and it's like when I work with you, Anoush, Adriel, it's like, these are my fucking partners, dude. These are my homies, and that's, dude. It's fun. It's fun. It's not a job. No. But when that's why I kind of want to well, get your perspective yeah. as in you're in L.A. You got a homie named Hank, but I guarantee you 50, maybe 60% of the other people that you're working with, they don't really give a fuck about you at all, bro. They just want to be your, they just want to like, eh, yeah, like, how can you benefit me? And that's why I get scared. If I, you know, I don't want to, it just yeah. it seems like a scary game to play because it's That's just, why if, if I'm trying to connect with an artist, um, I don't, I don't go, I don't DM them and go, yo, um, I if got, you want. if you want, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not done with it. That's why. Fuck. Well, okay. But, uh, what I was saying. What the fuck was I saying now? Dick? Well, I'm just talking about like the just the. Oh yeah, yeah. You have so, to have a solid team, bro. So, so I was saying. So when I go out and DM an artist no, or good. something, when I DM an artist, um, real one. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, when I go and DM an artist, I'm not saying, "Yo, come check out my beats," or "Yo, let's work," because they're immediately Thank gonna you, be Marshall. like, they're Appreciate immediately it. gonna be like, "Oh, I've heard that before," you know? Yeah. Like, oh, okay, I've heard a thousand. Let's work. Like you know that you want to you want to. How d- many times have you heard "Let's work"? F- a lot. You want to collab, bro? No, I've I've had yeah. artists come to me and t- give me a fee. Yo, bro, I can. Yeah. I'm trying to get on a song. You gotta pay me. That though. makes it, but that's the thing that pisses me off, and I'm not involved. Or you pay me. Yeah, it's some fucking <laughs> prostitution shit. I mean, who who? I, no, I, I I don't I don't sell ass. I swear. No. <laughs> well, then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but, t- t- but like, does that make you feel like kind of like a real lone wolf? Being from you're you're away from all your homies. You're not you're not in L.A. or surrounded by your family yeah. and homies. You're around a bunch of people trying to do the same shit as you, but they might not have the same mindset as you. They might be like, oh, let me see if I can use this fucker. Like, you want to produce some beats for me? Pay me. That makes no sense. You ever get scared? Not scared. That's not the no, right word. I but know. Like, There's a eh. like like the whole. What I do uh, understand is the whole yo, uh, uh, pay me if you if you want a feature. Yeah, you know that is yeah. that I understand that. You know, like I've I've always uh, wanted to do like a whole album by like just me, mm-hmm. where I get a bunch of artists on mm-hmm. my album, like different yep. artists on every track yep. type shit. But you know that some of them obviously I have to pay. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I don't yeah. care if I don't make anything. Obviously, it's yeah. just I want a project that's done by me, but I pay these artists to be on it. Yeah, you know, that that deserves the money. That deserves no, yeah. me paying someone to do it for Because they're, sure. they're on my project, you know. Yeah. But if they need something for their project, and I don't, I'm not, I'm not like homies with them or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm I have to charge. Yeah. I'm not gonna give my shit out for free like that. But do you even care about making money with this shit? Or is this so much of a passion that's just like, you just want to do this shit? Because no, it's I hard don't. as fuck. Even I'm making a podcast right now. You're at episode seven. I ain't making motherfucking pennies off this shit. No shit. Yeah, but I but love doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I love doing no, it. No, I never, never thought about money. But I've always thought of like the end game of like, yeah, I do. That's what I was going to get at. Eventually, I do want to make money. Obviously, if it's not from producing, it's mm-hmm. from being an engineer. Yeah. Because uh, that's, that's what I'm going to school for. I want to be yeah. an engineer. I want to record people. I want to make them sound. Do you have a phenomenal. preference? Because people probably don't understand. Engineer, producer, the two different ball games. Producer, oh, a thousand percent. Because I've been doing that for fucking ever. So yeah. it's like, obviously, I want to be a producer first. But uh, when it comes time to do, it, I want to. I want to get a job and I want to work yeah. in a studio. You know, yeah. I'm just thinking realistically. You know. Yeah. I'm gonna forever make beats. Doesn't mean I can't make beats if I'm an engineer. You know. Yeah, I mean. Do you have a process of even making beats? Because when I go back to boredom, 
<clears throat> when you send me beats, it's like, yeah, I'm like, Abe, hey, kind of like this. Can you send me something like this? But then I'll be just not in a creative mode. I'm like, I can't fucking write for shit right now. What is your process with that? When I feel like it's way different between an artist and a and a producer. And a producer. Yeah. I just, ah, fuck. It's dude. No lie. I've me right now. I've been so focused on like my school shit and trying to like learn the different side of the music shit of engineering and all that, that I do. I haven't made like a full beat in probably like three, four months. And it's like, it's, 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 and and it's terrible, but it's like, I'm in that pocket right now of boredom where it's like, I just don't want to make anything. Well, I guess is that, do you think that school plays a part in that? Because it's more of an assignment. It's like, Oh, I don't, I don't really know how this it's structured, but this school, you need to do this by this due date. When in reality, as a creator, it's like you can't rush creativity. No, because because the assignments have nothing to do with your own creativity. Yeah, I feel like it's like, oh, uh, like I'm in a class right now where it's uh, I have to, um, they they give me a muted animation thing like a like a like a cartoon. Yeah, and it's muted, and I have to put in every single sound oh, for it. Jesus. So it's like it's it's a hassle. It's annoying, but I'm learning shit. I'm, yeah. I can like it's like oh I have to go outside and like stomp my feet to make it seem like this oh, guy's walking. Oh, you have to really do. I got like I got like the shit. voice memo shit yeah. on the iPhone, and then I can go I can go into the studio and record like, uh, you know, other shit. You know, like rubbing my hands together, yeah, like yeah. For, like like Birdman. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Um, I I kind of wanted to ask you because. You and me share a lot of the same music interests, but I feel like you have definitely are the one that more you keep up to date with artists with the with the times. Yeah. Yes, so, I, I'm so no, I'm I know, stuck in I know. 1996, this is, this is, and I I admit it. I'm this a is what I I wanted to get into this with you too because I know you're you're. I was telling him on the drive over here. I was like, you're very open minded, but you're very stubborn when it comes oh, yeah. to music. You know, <laughs> perfect way to explain like it. you a like perfect way to explain like it. you hate. Like all the shit that's out right now, you know, <laughs> but you, you, you're, 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 but you're not going to, you're not going to knock someone's hustle. No, 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 no never, no. never. No. I, I, it's just hard because unless they're ass, then you, you tell them to go kill themselves type well, uh, shit, you know? And I will. And I don't yeah, give yeah. a fuck. No, no, no. I don't give a fuck. That's cool. But the, <laughs> but the thing right. is like, like, I'm, okay, I'm at the gym and I'm, I'm starting to feel old, even though we're this, literally a day apart, I'm at the gym working out and I look at the TV and see like the new every new artist I'm like who the, f- who yeah. the fuck are you yeah. you sound like the dude that was doing this a year ago and I don't know who the dude was a year ago yeah. who the fuck are you guys and to me I just get pissed off because I'm like I'm a fucking not just a hip hop but I'm a music nerd as like oh like you want to talk to me about like Black Sabbath or I'll just like name you fucking any fucking see a- but that's that's why me and you uh clicked Connect, so hard yes, yes. because we have that old background no matter what of music but i me I, i'm a producer i have to uh, yeah keep up with the times do what people like right now and stuff like that but i started making beats i started doing boom bap shit that's my shit i grew up with a music background of fucking rock and roll yeah like my brother always played, you know, Blink-182, fucking yeah. The Offspring, oh, fucking yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. I would go with him to the fucking Best Buy on, like, the release day and go buy the albums, you know? Like, that That was, that. That that's my music did, background when I grew up. Did you have, did you put in CDs into a player as a child and listen to CDs, Walkman type shit? Yeah. Bro, you want to know the first CD I ever bought? I'll tell you mine after you tell me yours. This is fucking terrible. Oh, mine's probably worse. Okay. Mine was uh, Maroon Five songs. Yeah, get the fuck out of my house, dude! Shut the f- <laughs> songs, <laughs> songs by Jade. I was at Best oh, Buy, Jesus. and I and I picked up Great the album, album. and I told I told <laughs> I, I told my dad I was like, I would like to purchase this, <laughs> <laughs> and I was and I didn't know what the fuck it was. Dude. I, I I like the thing. I don't even think my brother was there with me to give me like to knock some fucking sense into me. But I picked it up. Obviously, I was like, Jade. I love it. And then I loved the fucking album. Hey, well, you know what? Hey, classic, classic <laughs> album, bro. Classic. And my, crazy, and my, it and it came to, it came out to be a classic album. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, my first album was Lil Bow Wow. Oh shit! Um, when he was a little child, that looks like a little girl with braids. So yeah, bounce with me now. Um, Bow, he's cool. 
What's his real name? Shade Moss. Shade, Shade Moss. Moss. Oh my god. Keep it bow wow. Yeah. yeah exactly. Keep it but, bow wow. But that's what I'm saying is, like, I'll I'll see. I feel like I'm getting older because you you know the term old head. Yeah. You're an old head. Why? Because I listen to fucking Wu Tang and fucking Sean Price and Helter Skelter. No, you're an old head because you listen to that music. And you hate people who listen to that other music. Bingo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but do you remember when I, me and you, my first song I ever made with you, what was it called? First song? First song I ever made with you in my garage. Funk. <laughs> P-H-O-N-K. There's a, I was just searching it up too. Songs there's an amazing. Right? And there's a, there's a fucking, funk was like a, a very, I can't, I, I was waiting to talk to you about this. That funk was a very, because you know how you would sample old, like Easy e or like 3 6 Mafia yeah. shit, sample the choruses. Yeah. Just, well, that's what funk is. Nowadays, there's a whole new, like, as in Bro, funk's a genre. Now it's like a fucking, and like, Bro, and, and I was, no one respects the. Oh, no, oh. no, they do. I was on, I, I found, I found a, there's this dude on TikTok. I don't know what his name is. I would sh- fucking shout him out, but there's this dude on TikTok and he's known for going to the record store. He grabs three, it's not rhythm roulette, but he goes, he oh, grabs okay. three random ass records and then he makes a nasty funk V out of really? it. Really? Yeah. Nasty. That's dude. cool. And I followed him and was like, damn, this is the shit. I was like, dude, that, no lie. The easiest beats for me to make are funk beats. Funk beats and boom bap beats. The easiest shit ever. The two best type of beats you can make. No, you're closed minded. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's great beats, bro. Phenomenal. I cause I love it because no matter when I'm making it, I'm thinking you're already on it. Yeah. So that that's what makes it way easier for you, me to make. When you make a beat, do you no. before Mm-mm. Hey, front door is that way. When, no. you, when you're making a beat, you don't think of the person no. on before. No. You make it before, uh, and then you're like, I, you I, might I'm, like this. Dude, and that's, that's I was never part of the fucking Lil Uzi type beat. Oh, well, I uh, hope so, dude. Travis I Scott type beat. You on this no, he, no, 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 no. But the when I started really getting on IG and uploading my beats, I, I would, I the first couple that I uploaded, I would I put him on there. Like, oh, Travis Scott type beat. I was like, mm, whatever, sure. The Travis Scott is on shit? there. Yeah, I had like 50 million hashtags. And I would get random likes. Oh, oh, DM me if you want to see my tits yeah. and shit. You know, like I'm like, what? The? I was, I was like, whoa, dude, delete that. Like, what the <laughs> but when you, okay, because I, I am horrible self. Don't watch my story, like one of those, you know. God, dude. God. I I, self promotion, like even when I, when I drop music. I'm not even ever fully confident with my music, but like I'll put out like I'll have the whole cover art, just like my cousin. You hit me up for my cousin's cover art. Shout out M3, but. I, that shoots. I, yeah, fire, right? Fire. My two album covers are fucking insane. Yeah. But did you ever feel like when you have, even have to do the hashtags, like, oh, what am I doing? This is so Oh, no. You know what this I did? so embarrassing. No, 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 no. No, didn't you fuck. That's good. Uh, I went on Google and I typed in uh, Instagram producer, uh, producer, producer, producer hashtags. Damn it, Bobby. Instagram producer hashtags. There was a list of them that all I had to do was press copy. And then I went over, press paste. And I put them, some of them say like dubstep. Not even oh, make a fucking dubstep beat. When was the last time you heard, d- dubstep was cool when we were freshmen in high school. Oh, hell yeah. I fucking mean, uh, Skrillex. S- Skrillex? What's that song called? Uh, uh, we, we fucking saw him in Cabo. Oh, oh yeah. yeah saw Skrillex, we saw him, we saw him in he Cabo. Was, he was in the fucking section right behind us. Yeah. What? Yeah. Fuck, dude. I kicked it with him and I was hella partying with him. No, I'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> I mean... So you never have once felt like, because I personally have, I've never once done a hashtag where it's just like almost embarrassed that I'm like self-promoting. See, you're, my... uh, when it comes to music, you're hella embarrassed yeah. about it. Me, yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah. No, I, Idiot. I, 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 it's... <laughs> what the fuck? But the, because it's like, because I will, because I'm embarrassed because I see people, Instagram fucking live people that mm. are like, hey, check me a hey, album coming out next month. Blah blah, check me out. And you You're think it's cringe. Bag, dude. It, cringe? Okay, okay. Question for you. Yeah, yeah. Is it more of like embarrassment, or is it more like self-cautious about it with your music and the way that it's? I don't. And then you promote you know, it. And, the, and, the way, and the, no, and then the way you promote it. Like we're talking about the way you promote it, yeah, right? Yeah, with yeah. the hashtags. And yeah, stuff like that? yeah. No, that's a good question because yeah. I don't think it's embarrassed. I don't think it's embarrassment. I do think it's self-conscious the way I come off as a okay. person, as an artist, like. Cause I don't want to come off like 
I'm special. Look like, at fo- me. like follow me type follow shit. Follow me. Follow me. Look at me. Okay. Because that's man. different, right? It's not. It's not an embarrassment type thing. Like yeah, you know, no. Yeah. Good. That's, like, a, that's a good that's a question. question. Yeah, no, it's a good question because it's they're they're so different. Because yeah, exactly. Embarrassing is like oh I suck. Yeah, yeah. Self conscious yeah. is like I don't want to look I, like, like a I douche. like. Okay, because I've heard your music from the beginning. Right. Oh, yeah. I've been, I didn't know that. Yeah. Fuck yeah, oh yeah, from cool. the beginning. What the fuck? I, this is yeah, child. Ch- yeah, I'm no, just kidding. Child. <laughs> 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 like telling you, dude, child of friends is when he first started and yeah. everything with the music. I was like, dude, like this shit's sick. And he would, bro, he would fucking show me your songs from like the very beginning and shit like that, right? And I was like, yo, this shit's fucking sick, dude. That Thank one, you, dude. hey, that one song you have with um Anoush, that fucking seven minutes like you're talking about. I've heard it. I know oh exactly what you're talking about. He, he, I was fucking there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Before it was, before a lot of the, even the shit was released, like I was listening to shit. Like no what musical background or nothing, but this no, motherfucker. Yeah. I this shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I told him I told yeah. him you have to say it's good though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, fuck, fuck it. You're not my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, exactly. Okay. You're not right, invited, fuck it. No. <laughs> and that's the thing, like it's, like you said, it's the difference between like embarrassment yeah, no, that's a and great like self cautious. No, you know that's a mean? great question because it's not embar- because if I was embarrassed, I would never even release it. Okay, because that's what I was coming from listening to you say this. I'm like, bro, I've heard your music. This yeah. is fucking good. You know yeah. what I mean? So I it's more like that. a self cautious type Relax. thing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's self conscious because it's because like I said. If you notice, both of you guys probably notice, every time you go on Instagram, there's an ad. Every other couple fucking scrolls yeah. you go by, there's a dude, hey, bro, I chopped my album. And it's like, I never wanted to be that guy. Yeah. Because it's like, first of all, you fucking suck. Like, your music's dick, all right? Second of all, your it's opinion. like- Your opinion. No, I'm, my opinion's always right. Everything I say- No, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just making sure. Yeah. As a guest, yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but- um, embar- yeah, n- never embarrassed, but definitely, I just think, like, I hope people don't think I'm some cocky bastard that, like, really wants you to look at me, because it's like, I just want to post it, I want to put it out there, and I want people to enjoy it, but I don't want people to, like, hype me up or anything, because yeah. I feel like a lot of people, like, when I talk about the narcissism thing, especially in LA, a lot of people are just into themselves. I'm insecure as fuck, dude. I ain't, I ain't no, trying no, to no, fucking... No, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm the, fu- I feel like I'm the way opposite of that, dude. I, I always... I hella doubt myself so much. Yeah, dude. Because okay, there's one thing that my that my girl does that that gets me that it doesn't piss me off, but it just makes me feel like fuck, dude. Maybe I'm thinking of myself like a piece of shit. Like she'll go, oh, when you make it big this day, can we do this? When you make it big, blah blah. Like when you make it big, and it's not her thinking, oh, hella money and shit. It's like she's already thinking of uh, like like done. Yeah, I think she's thinking. She, of, she's she, thinking of the end game. But, but I can't see myself as that. So I'm I'm looking at her I'm like. Oh my god, no! I'm not but gonna be. I'm not gonna be some fucking B Diddy like relax like. But I would. I mean, if I was in your situation, your girl's probably what she's doing. It sounds like is really just like having faith. It is in what you're it doing. Is. It is. I have a little uh, sticky. She, she I, sees the grind. Yeah, yeah I, no. I have a. She she put a sticky note and it's it's on my 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 speaker, the rocket speaker, and it says. Uh, you know, pretty much. I don't know what exactly what it says. My bad, but it says pretty much says like you know, keep grinding. Like I have faith in you. Yeah. Like you'll this That's is dope. this will come out to the end. You, you know? don't gotta get all sentimental, but like, um, without your girl, does you, does your I wouldn't f- move out there. Okay, did, did, so you're. Because it's good to have support. Just I mean, yeah. Especially a fucking a, yeah. a, a, a companion that supports you. Yeah. I'm assuming that she, busts your fucking ass off. Like if if I'm making music and I'm blasting my speaker, bro, I live in a studio and I'm blasting my speakers. Yeah. And she's like trying to watch TV, doesn't say a thing. Damn, your fucking girlfriend's real as fuck then. Yeah, man. that's when I fucking made my last beat I'm five rapper. months ago. I'm a rapper. That's just annoying as fuck, dude. Turn it off, dude. No, yeah, because you're trying to record into something. <laughs> Not just that. Oh, you're, I'm, trying oh, you're trying fucking, to, oh. I'm trying to watch some Netflix, bro. Shut it up, man. Yeah, no, but but when that's I'm fucking, cool. when I'm hitting sticks, I damn TV's blaring Grey's Anatomy and I can't hear a goddamn thing. <laughs> I, but I try, I try not to be like, babe, can you turn it down? Because that's, uh, oh, I sound like a dick. So I just do one of these. But, like, I go... Oh whoa! But and but, I look at the TV and but uh, having her is is it, she sounds like she's she motiv- she's a very good support system for you and hell yeah. You. yeah no, no that's, definitely that's definitely. solid yeah I mean imagine imagine being with a girl that is was, doubting like, you the whole time exactly or like, like or oh, like yeah, like I mean, like if I play my song in the it's in the cool. car you fucking suck but no no like, <laughs> like wow. <laughs> 
Good job, uh, hey, babe. Hey, wow. no, like like that, like that Drake song where he played his girl. Uh, how about oh, now? Ludacris song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he played it. He played her. He played her the song yeah, and yeah. goes, "Oh, cool. Could we listen to Ludacris now?" Ludacris now. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I would fucking one two check her if she ever said, <laughs> "Hey, can you throw on some Lil Xan instead?" Like, what the fuck, Don't bro? Don't ever say Lil Xan in this house ever again, dude. He's dope as... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm personally not a fan, but I respect the hustle. Okay. You can't. Oh. <laughs> but, but when you say respect the hustle... Because I respect the hustle because working a fucking nine to five and sure. trying to do my... on this, If this was my nine to five, I would be... It would be an... I would be ecstatic. This is my job, but I can't right now. So when I see people that are ass at rapping, but that's their job, do you respect that? Do you think like, wow, well, you know what? You might suck. Well, bro, they got they got big for a reason, right? It was that one reason? hit. What's the reason? One hit. Lil Xan had that one song, yeah, uh, no, Betrayed true. or some shit. I don't fucking and, know. It full looks like he has autism. Okay. okay. No, <laughs> sorry, he, I think he does, too. but he, uh, he was actually... <laughs> sorry, dude. Bro. <laughs> bro. It's all right, all right shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, all right. But yeah, he... I don't even know what you're talking about. What are we talking about? Autism? <laughs> Oh yeah, betrayed. What, what hitters? What the hitters, the hitters. the song betrayed. He came out with that, and then every song after that, he was just fucking ass. Garbage. In my yeah opinion. Okay, but it's not. But it, I don't want Zan heads coming at me because I live with them you, in dude. downtown they LA. They pass out before they can reach you, dude. Okay, Jesus. Um, <laughs> but, I hate Robles. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna plug him in right now. <laughs> but like. Because, like you, you know, you know my musical, like how I favor shit and yeah. how I love shit, and you do too. But you have a lenient side. You're a producer, and also you just have a more open mind than me. But does it ever piss you off to see these little fuckers just getting millions of dollars? No, and I'm their not fucking a, cheeks, dude. Their cheeks. You they can't. Are, you can't pocket watch these kids, though. The, what the fuck? <sighs> let them die out on their own. It's that's true. They're that gonna die true. out. Lil Zen. What the? Where is he now? I, I don't know. I think he's probably he, smoking fentanyl somewhere. No way. That sounds awesome. No, I'm just kidding. Died? No. <laughs> Look, thought, he thought I he thought died. I hope. No. Sorry. Sorry. He, yeah, didn't he like bad. eat some Cheetos and he died or some shit? Oh, or I he went to the hospital? Oh, I thought he died. Yeah. I, I hope. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like, did, because oh, when you go to. Oh, Lil Peep. That was Lil Peep, my bad. I, uh, I got the look of All right. Look and that's what's crazy because I I I like Lil some of Lil Peep's songs. It's funny because I like. Show me. It's funny because I'll I, I distinguish them differently because Lil Peep music and eh, Lil Peep interviews. I'm like, he doesn't seem like a bad dude. It's not a bad. He's like a fucking good dude. He just surrounded. He was just surrounded by fucks the whole time. He was surrounded by assholes and took advantage of them. Hey, go back to the narcissism conversation you were talking about. He's probably surrounded by a bunch of narcissists out there, man. And, and that's probably why he died because no one actually had his back. That's what no, I'm saying. No, dude, have when you seen you that video of that that one dude? Uh, I don't know. He's a, he, he, I think he's a fucking rapper too. I don't know who the hell it he is. Probably is. Not 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 his boy Tracy. The there was some dude he was on tour with, and he like took a video of, of him uh, a bus? peep. Yeah, he in took a video. He's like, like yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and then yeah. he goes, ah, he's passed out, blah, blah, blah. No, he was dead. No, he was dead. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they filmed him, and he was off like six Zans dead, and he's filming him like, ha, ha, ha. And to me... Crazy. But that's when I go back to like, I'm moving out, or I'm going I'm going to fucking uh, Lincoln, Rockland right now, want to come through, and this fool's like, yeah. You think Lil Peep had someone on his team like that? No, dude, they're all in it for the fucking... How if, does it benefit it, me? They would go if there was bread involved. That's what I'm saying. Thousand percent. That's what I'm saying. And so, when you are in LA, that's why I always bring up like the, the LA is the mecca of narcissism, dude. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck if you come from a good childhood. If you go out there, you personally are a good person. I'll just say that right now. You're that, fucking that, a piece hey, of shit. Hey, but, all right, that, all right. But you are a good person. So, look, for example, it would be hard for me to interview somebody that I just met in LA right now that's a musician because who knows what the fuck you're about. You might just steal my... You try to steal my microphone and then talk shit about me and blah, 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 blah. I feel like the narcissism I, is real I in tried. LA. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, no, it is. Hey, go back to that ATL guy. He probably would do that right now. Yeah, literally. Whoever the ATL guy is, I will fucking mix I, you I, so I fast. You, but I, don't fuck, I don't know your name. Yeah, I will fucking put you in the dirt. I was a fucking clown. <laughs> but did... Because you don't live in San Jose. You're not surrounded by your team anymore. As in, like, team, as in camp, as in Nacho, motherfucking Norm. 
you, you live with your girl, which is great because she's your fucking rock. But when it comes down to other fucking people in the business, does it ever fucking trip you out knowing like, do, do you have trust issues? Basically, do you have trust issues yeah, with people around you? Of course. I but if that's the thing, it's like I trust people hella quick. If if I if I catch a cool vibe off the bat, I'm gonna be like, okay. I can be cool with this guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I think uh, on the last, or not the last, maybe, I don't know if it was the last pod, but uh, with Adriel, you were talking about uh, you can kind of sense the energy of someone as soon about, as you walk in the yep, room. Exactly. Dude, I'm the same exact way. I'll ne- I won't, I'm going to judge before have, I meet someone. Have you always been that way? Always. always. Okay. Always. So you didn't have to learn that no hard way. No, bullshit. dude, no. Like, you, I've never met someone and be like, oh, okay, this guy's pretty cool. Like, you go to a party. Oh, like respectful. Like they invite you to their house or something, or you just meet someone. And, hey, yeah. bro, this is my boy. Oh yeah, this is my boy, fucking Ted or whatever. I'd be like, hey, what's good, Ted? And blah blah. blah. And he's like, hella respectful, bro. You want a beer? You know, like, okay, yeah. cool. Oh yeah. Like we're we're homies instantly. Yeah. Not not homies, homies, but we're homies. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah. we're we're homies oh. for the night, and because yeah. I I I get your vibe, and I know you're a good guy. But if you come off as like. Uh, like a dick, a dick like like uh, right? bro, who the fuck invited this guy? Like type oh. shit, and then I'm gonna fucking rock your shit. You're a weirdo, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of people Th- like thanks that. Thanks for accepting me tonight. I know this is the first time we've oh, ever yeah. met. So. No, yeah, no, perfect is perfect Sorry. example. Yeah, you know because I mean? okay, perfect example of the because of a the person that you know and you you were you're you know me, so you know I'm not I gonna sh- bring some fucking suck bag here. I wouldn't even. Even if you had some sort of fucking following or backing and like you had a bunch of fucking thousands of fans, but I kind of thought of you as a piece of shit, I wouldn't even bring you to my fucking house. No. Yeah, get the fuck out of my house. (laughs) (laughs) But that's the thing is like people like that, how you're saying, I want to go to Lincoln. Do you want to drive with me? Yes. People like that, dude. Yeah. That was cool. Right after work. I just, this time. Let's go. I just think that, do you feel, I guess, vulnerable in a way because he's not in LA with you? This fool isn't down the street, right? You're not in LA, not, are you? Yeah, I don't have a soul there, so. out there. Yeah. And how does that make you feel? Because I have my family out here. I'm not, I'm from San Jose. I don't live in San Jose anymore. So I don't have all these connections. And because no, I've had I, coworkers, I, I've had coworkers, and, and not just not coworkers, I love my coworkers, but other people I've met out here, and it's like, you know what? I don't actually know you. I don't know if I actually trust you. Me and you might have good conversations, but you might yes. fuck me. Yeah. Within why would I turn my back? You might fuck me over. Do you feel that way in LA? I feel like LA is the fucking perfect place to fuck people over. No, I yeah. I mean, if nah, because like I said, I was like I said before, dude. Uh, like if I meet someone and I catch their vibe quick, I'm gonna know that they're they're solid for now, but. I never have that thought in my head like, oh, dude, later on they're going to fuck me over. Because I'm not thinking about later on. I'm, I'm like yeah. thinking right now, you know. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm thinking yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. you're cool as fuck right now. Yeah, yeah. And you don't you don't think I'm weird. I don't think you're weird. It's We're yeah. homies, you know. Do you... But it's, it's always... I, it's never 50-50 like you're going to meet a weirdo and you're going to meet... A, it's like 60, 40, 70, 60, 30, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, yeah. a lot of the times it's someone like... Fuck, bro. This guy's vibe is ass. Like he's gonna. He's like. I already know that he's that guy. I just feel that way. I, I don't have experience in LA. I just went to a me and my homie Joe. Remember Joe? Joe Giacchetti. I mean, me and him. Good guy. That's the fucking homie right Great there. Guy. I just went to uh, Suicide Boys. Uh-huh. Uh This dude named Ramirez, and then just a couple other shows or a couple other people on this. Show. Yeah. But being around that crowd, and it was in L.A., it was in downtown L.A., just being around all those people, I felt like, one, I felt like an old fucking man. Okay, I get that, but I feel like since I know you, I know you You walk into a building, you immediately <laughs> judge. But <laughs> you, 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 yeah, judge, right. you judge for your own protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, dude, that was that's, you know? that's so fucking real, and that is exactly you're gonna what judge until they actually come up to you or someone actually says what's up, and then from there your mood will instantly change. And it's funny because I remember going in there, walking in, and it's funny because I remember going to con- I've been to so many concerts and going to concerts as a as a high schooler, looking up at everyone like I'm the small kid in yeah. here. I was the fucking motherfucker. Motherfuckers are looking up to, at, at like I'm the big motherfucker here. Really, you're not that tall. <laughs> I'm six foot on a good day. I don't give a fuck what Abraham says. Anyways, um, yeah, you're taller than me. Uh, but people, 
what, like you were saying, like I would instantly, I would walk in there. I'm like, look at all these fucking little squares. They they think see? Suicide Boys. I was listening to Suicide. I, I, I was listening to Suicide Boys. In see, you're pushy. the you're the YouTube comment section, bro. <laughs> I am the gatekeeper. But then, I, I, but then, but then I chop it up with them. I chop the uh, fools to come up to You'll me. You'll meet and them, and I'm like, oh, they're I'm not like, too bad. And then I'm like, oh shit, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah. Why, like why I feel, like I feel that? like. Why do you think I'm like that? I don't know, dude. As I a, really musician, don't know. Why do you think I'm like that? I really don't know. Okay, I was just gonna say what he said earlier. It's about like protecting yourself. You were asking me all these questions about vulnerability. It goes back to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It goes I back agree. to you. These are great questions you've been asking him, and it kind of yeah. just. Goes I feel back like to you. I feel like you've been fucked over too many times that you think like that now. I think that I yeah no for sure, and I think that. Um, you can't really tell people too much about yourself. That's the problem with podcasts is like, not the problem, but I'll talk all this shit right now and saying what I'm saying and yeah. people can hear it and then like they can like use it as ammunition against me. I don't know. I just think they that. They can hear it? Yeah, I, mean, I get, I like get a million, it. I get a million views an episode, dude. <laughs> Anyways, That's wild. Um, I bet, yeah. I, sure. I, I don't know. I, You've always been a nicer side. So I'm a hater. I'm a fucking certified no, fucking... No, I know. You come off as a hater, but I know... It's, it's not good, though. It's not cool. I used to think it was cool to act like that, but it's you not cool. You were always like that. Yeah. You always came off as like a... This guy, I was doing that shit first. <laughs> like a fucking asshole. You know, for sure. I yeah. agree. I, I mean... But it's, it's funny because he was never like that to me. Yeah, no. But he was like that. Bro, you want okay, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna expose your ass. All right, so in high school when uh when Tyler the Creator first like blew up, you were the I'm the I'm the fucking guy who started listening to him. And then bro, I remember one time I remember one time you know how in the mornings we all you everyone just like kind of meets in the quad or whatever and talks. I I had my air I had my AirPods, fucking not AirPods. Not AirPods. AirPods. No, AirPods. I had my fucking. Get school, get his school candy. I had my. Get his fucking school candy. I was about to say that. I was. I got my school candies in, and then Austin was like, "Sup, bro? What are you listening to?" Because he knew I was. Because Goblin, <laughs> bro, Goblin was the shit oh, in yeah, it. Yeah, freshman year. Shit. That was the shit. Yeah, yeah. And I was, and I, I was listening to it, and he go, "What are you listening to?" And I was like. Uh, I'm listening to, uh, I don't I think I said her, the song her. And then you're all, I like she better. <laughs> <laughs> and I was all, are you an idiot? I was all sick, dog. <laughs> sick. Yeah. Kill I, yourself. I don't care. You know, what the fuck? I, I would, I would look, I've thought about this recently. I would look back on myself and how I acted like I am literally, I was literally the gay. Seventh grade. I smoke weed and listen to Bob Marley. You don't. You're gay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're whack, dude. What? Yeah, I have I have pot leaf earrings, dude. Oh, and you were the earrings. first guy. Yeah, no. You I, were I, you were that guy that you'd go up and be like, "Yo, bro, do you burn?" Yeah, I burn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I fucking burn, dog. Yeah, dude, he had the I love boobies respect for oh, anybody. Yeah, bro. dude, I would fucking. But uh, as I get older, I look back on those times. I'm like, oh no, dude, like I can't believe it. But the thing is, I, I got a spurt of that recently because funk has becoming a whole new. It's like there's a shit called drift funk now. It's drift videos and new like Russian motherfuckers will make drift funk music what? and I'm, yeah dude and i'm like dude me and abraham were fucking making that shit in 2017 <laughs> dude what's up pussy yeah you don't even know tyler the creator dude you should have <laughs> you should have linked it bro dude, I know, bro dude. look this is some shit i dropped way fucking back then you guys are ass like well, that's I remember, you i remember just like telling you like hey bro like i like funk shit and then you'd come at me with like some easy e fucking sample i'm like dude this is fucking hard as fuck yeah. and then i would just yeah and then your computer crashed in it. Uh, anyway. Damn, that was a bad computer. Hey, but you know what's funny is on my album... Um, a lot of August names on that. Lot of, <laughs> August? That's why it crashed, you know what I mean? Exactly, dude. You fucking... Too much DNA. Um, shit was, some of the, no, key, some yeah. of the fucking things didn't work. Yes, oh, yeah. didn't work, I remember. Keyboard did half the keyboard work. So stuck in. You, uh-huh, you, you know what's funny? I saw even like, it was just one homie that commented on your shit, but a lot of people that would hit me up personally when I dropped my album is San Jose Garage was like the one song like, really? damn, this shit. Yeah, dude, that's what I was, I was like. No, no, I'm not saying it like, really? This song's ass, but like that song no, was. really is in the song's weird. Like, there weird. was, fuck, I think my fate, fuck, I want I I feel like I need to pull it up so I can hear it, but. There was one song on there that we did where where it was that was one of the hardest beats I've ever made. 
What, San Jose Garage? Uh, I mean, they were all hard, but there was one that was really hard in there that I forgot which one it was. Is it out on the internet? I think it was uh, um, YBW. YBW, maybe. Uh, You've been, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, maybe, maybe. But anyways, there, there, and also there's another beat on there that I've actually given to another artist. And they've recorded a song, send it back to me, but nothing's ever happened All with right, it. Well, who's this artist? Did I fuck him up, dude? No. <laughs> what, what is what? What song? Uh, there was a beat. The um, that I think it was literally my the my favorite beat one that that I liked, and I sent it out, and he fucked with it, and he sent it back, but nothing ever happened with it. So I was like, all right, cool. So now I can send it out, and because when I made that beat, I was thinking, all right, this is something Oscar would fuck with. So then when you did it, went off it, and it actually dropped, I was like, finally, bro. Because that beat's been sitting since, like, yeah, since yeah, 2017. It, I, I don't know how many songs I used on the last album, but it was, like, four, maybe. But four, one of them three, was, yeah. like, uh, uh, fucking your brain, FYB. And you're like, oh, dude, Adriel fucking. I was like, no, oh, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. He, he did the bass line for one of those, the... Dun, 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 dun. He did that bass line. I'm fucking your brain. Yeah, he did that bass line. And I remember it vividly because I did it on my keyboard at, in your garage. Do you think about those times? Like, because he was asking me earlier, I was on the phone with him earlier, and he was, at, he was like, ask that fool. Yeah. Like, because you've worked with other people. I, I mean, I've seen you, you're way more professional now with like who you're working I've with. I've never worked with a producer more than I've worked with Adriel. Wow. I've worked, I went, went, he would come over just randomly and we would just make a beat. And there'd be some days where we really couldn't make shit. Like oh, we yeah. just, we just, our brains couldn't come together to make something. We probably weren't feeling the same vibe towards a beat that we we're feeling. But like, he, we, he would always lay something down though. Yeah. That's why it was cool. Yeah. Um, do you, do you think about those, those times though? That's, yeah, that's the best time I've ever made music. Really? Because you, your garage you, is the most fun time I've ever had to make. That's music. why I call that song Santa. Because because but do you think because you because uh, I wasn't self conscious about my shit. I didn't think mm, fuck is this and good. And it wasn't really business. And it wasn't anything business. We we didn't spend money on it. I, I didn't I didn't have to think of that. You know. I'm gonna take a piss. Oh Jesus Christ! Sorry. I, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Just cut it out. Sorry. You guys talk about each other? Uh no, I barely fuck. I have to piss too. So hurry up. Jesus, see, this is a bad fucking thing. I might check my phone, but he, he should cut this out. If he doesn't, he's actually a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'll literally flag. I'll flag his YouTube flag channel. Me. I'll be that guy. Yeah, no, for sure. I'll dislike the video. I swear to God. <laughs> he's got a nice house, huh? Shit. Crazy. Shit is nice, bro. I expected a fucking garage, <laughs> <laughs> but no. Dude's yeah, a hard dude's a hard worker. Based off the fucking drive in, I was yeah. Nervous. I got a piss too. You're, you're, you're gonna cut this all out, right? No, I'm not. It, I don't censor shit. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, we just said some shit. No, I'm just kidding. Get on the mic. God oh, damn shit. it. Fucking. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. I'm gonna keep it on the side. Okay. When you start jujitsu, okay. Are you insecure right when you start it? Yes, you sir. You don't know shit. Oh, absolutely. You don't know goddamn shit. The, the thing about it is, you know, like I was telling you earlier, you know you're going to get your shit rocked. Why are you going to be like insecure about that? It's going to happen. You accepted it right when you even entered. Exactly. Okay. And, and the thing is like, you know how like, oh fuck, I don't like losing. I don't like this. How do you learn? Right. You either win or you learn. And that's one of the things that it teaches you. When I started doing judo over at San Jose State, the thing, it was like this sport, this grappling will fucking teach you to be humble like a motherfucker. You know you know that saying like some days you're the nail, some days you're the hammer, yeah. some days you're the wood. I am the fucking nail and sometimes I'm the fucking wood. Yeah. But one day I'll be the fucking hammer. Yeah. And I'm just going to keep going. I've done a few tournaments, done well in some, got my shit rocked in others. My last tournament a couple weeks ago, that mother Hey, Brandon Lamb, if you're watching this right now, shit. Brandon Lamb you have my fucking arm in your trophy case. I know that for a fact. This <laughs> this motherfucker took my arm home. Yes. He took my fucking arm home, okay? I know that for a fact. That's hot. Yeah, no. Tournament before that, got second place. Lost the championship game. You know what? It sucked, but it's like you're going to remain humble. You yeah. know? It's like oh, yeah. because the, I'm still a beginner. There's fucking dudes in my class who are like 
fucking killers and you would never even know. You would you look at these guys with fucking glasses and shit like, oh, this little guy. And that motherfucker. Fuck you up. You'd fuck someone up. That guy's going to take your knee home. He's going to take your fucking ankle home. Yep. He's taking your ACL. And he's going to wear it as a fucking chain, bro. It's not even hey, funny. I know you don't know Nacho and you didn't set up anything for Nacho. Yeah, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to say, what, what question would you have about him? Well, I kind of Make it the, interesting, I bitch. The, oh, let's go. The, Any question. Open. What do you feel about white people? No, I'm just uh, <laughs> All right, we're going to end this podcast early, guys. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But like with jujitsu, yeah. why? You said jujitsu. But why? Why do you have to learn it? Okay. You want to know the truth or you want me to bullshit you right now? If you bullshit me, front doors that way. Okay. <clears throat> Personally, for me, I grew up a victim. It's going to get some real sad shit in here right now. I grew up a victim of Is domestic cool violence. Here? Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Okay. This is your show. You're going to fuck this fool. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, but why? I, I, gr- I grew up a victim of domestic violence. I saw it growing up, and then I experienced it myself growing up. For me, grappling, any kind of like martial arts, I've done a little bit of Muay Thai as well. Mm-hmm. That's healing to me. I know it sounds super fucked up. No. When I get my shit rock, dude, I'm in class sometimes getting fucking bow and arrow choked or arm barred, and I'm smiling. You have, I'm literally laughing after getting my shit rocked. I'm like, this is healing to me. To me, it's like that little kid. Like, we're not going to let this shit ever happen again. Even though I got my shit rocked, now I know, hey, how to get out of things, how to do things. And, like, no one's ever going to make me feel like that piece of shit ever again And in it's my weird, life. too, because we think of um, fighting as a society. We think of f- f- oh, it's and martial degenerates arts. Degenerates and fucking violence, violence and all this and shit. You're a piece of shit, yeah. but you're smiling because people don't understand, like, it's it's not mixed martial assholes. It's mixed martial arts. Arts. It's exactly. Art. To, it's me, art. to me, that it is. Nice. Exactly. Make- Nice. We thank you. We Let's make see. music. Yeah. You fucking f- you do jujitsu. Yeah. It's it's all art. Yeah. And uh, well, that's I mean, violence is art. Violence is violence art. is art. So can you say that the, um, jujitsu has s- saved you in a way? Oh man, if it wasn't for okay, I'll I'll even be even more brutally honest. When I was at San Jose State doing judo, that was the only thing that. I looked forward to every day. That literally saved me from one of the darkest periods in my life. When, sorry y'all, but it was like, fuck, dude, do I even want to be alive today? I got fucking judo later though. Now it's like there I got go. jujitsu today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I train like four or five times a week, and it's like the sometimes it's the only thing I look forward to. And this guy knows. Yeah. I'm there. And I'm grinding at it. I don't give a fuck if I get my shit rock. Like I'm getting. That much better, point one percent better today. But do, as when you do it, because you're doing it in a professional way, where like you're going to classes, learning from yeah. masters. Yeah. You don't ever. Do you ever think like I can't wait to use this on someone in the street? Because I feel like what I've heard is people like you who yeah. train. All it does is not only does it train and you yeah. practice as part of your life, but you just do it just because you love it. You don't yeah. need to do it to act to on hurt people. people. Yeah, 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 no, it's not about okay. hurting people. I'll tell you this much: the people who think that way. Come to jujitsu class. You are gonna get your. Sh- you're gonna get yeah. fucking humbled real quick, because there's gonna be people like, oh, I'm gonna use this on someone, and the people you think you can use it on, are the motherfuckers taking your ankle home. Yeah. Yeah. Easy, and it's not even a sweat to them. You're a warm up, and it's like, oh shit, I gotta really rethink this shit. Does it make you confident, even though you you can be humbled when you walk into a bar? Mm-hmm. A rest, and it doesn't yep. matter, but mostly yep. a bar because people yep. are all faded oh, in yeah, bars. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a like a sense of like? I'm not even going to look at this dude wrong or I'm not going to yeah. stare back at him because yeah. I'm trained to do this shit. Exactly. Okay, that's a great question because when I go somewhere, the one of the things that I, for uh, what jiu-jitsu means to me, it's like, it's a confidence that I can't buy. Yeah. I feel great about myself. Yeah. And I'm like, I, like, great question. Like you said, if I go to a bar and some dude's talking shit, he's probably not 10 out of 10 times. Bro, I just see red. I don't know shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you don't even... I just go fucking crazy. Yeah, everyone and I'm, says that. And I'm like, I'm going to fucking take your neck home right now. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, I'm going to smile and laugh it off now. Before, I was like kind of dickhead. And I was like, try me, motherfucker. Now, I'm like, look, I know better. You probably don't know what you're talking about. You're just blacked out. Like, Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and if it comes down to it, my go- I'm just going to try to take you down. Yeah. I'm going to hold you there. Like, you're going to know what it feels like, but I'm not going to try to hurt you. Like, I used to want to fucking hurt people. You know what I mean? This 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 sport has taught me so much. 
Does, that it, I cannot does it give. teach you to? Um, I, I mean, in a professional bout, you would submit someone. There's a ref. He taps you out. Okay. But in a street fight, there's no rules. No rules. But with your mindset and what you've yeah. learned, do you go for the if 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 you were in a situation where a motherfucker's talking shit and you yeah. end up grappling him? Yeah. In your mind, do you go for the kill or do you go for the just the submission just to s- stop the fucking problem? Yeah. Uh, the latter, right? Okay. If, shout out Brendan Lamb. Uh, took okay. my arm home. In a, in, in a tournament, like, we're going to try to kill each other because that's, that's our sport. Yeah. We're going to try to hurt each other. But it's respect before and after the match, right? Dude hugged me and I was just kind of like, fuck, my arm hurts. Fucking, but it's all good. If, if uh, some dude's talking shit, I'm going to have to do what I have to do to protect myself. Yeah. And like... It's going to depend on you, right? It's like, you talking all this shit. Like, I'm not going to start it, but I'm going to be the motherfucker who ends it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not going to try to hurt you, but if it comes down to it, then that's what it's going to come down to. Do you get cocky? Are, has this boosted your confidence level? Maybe, okay, not okay. confidence, but are you cocky from it? No. I it, The the way it has boosted my confidence is that I feel great about myself. Like, okay. I know that, um, like I said, you know, domestic violence growing up yeah. as a kid and everything. I can go to a place and uh, anywhere, and I feel like I can protect myself. If you didn't experience domestic violence as a kid, do you think you would still pick up jujitsu? No, absolutely not. I'd okay. probably be doing some other uh, random shit, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. For, like I said, like to me, it is healing. So for me, it's like this is my way to give back to that inner child. You know what I mean? And and that's what it means to me. Probably wouldn't have obsessed with martial arts like I am now, or like MMA and all that is shit. It, is this something? Is it like jujitsu? Is this almost a habit? Like you. It's always an urge, like, I gotta fucking train. Yeah. Like, there, there's days where, like, these... Because I work with kids, and it's like, I'm exhausted. Dude, some of my kids right now are, like, into... Like, not into. That sounds terrible. But it's like, they're cutting themselves. They're yeah, no. doing all these things. Some of them are running away from home. And yeah. it's like... Oh, yeah. The That's last real. thing The last thing I want to fucking do with these... After working with middle school kids is go get choked out by some motherfucking brown belt. That's the last thing I want to go do. But I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go because it makes me that much better. It's like... It's not just a habit. It's also like a way of life at this point for me. And it's just like... Is this something you're going to bring with you to the, to the end? To whenever you die, you're still going to be doing it? Oh, yeah. It? Hey. Masters one. I'm coming for you. Black belt. Ten years. There you Ten fucking years. go. I'm coming. That's all I know. That's my end goal. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's the end goal all right, and I'll live it. Guys, yes. Right, here, right now. <laughs> it's Cardi uh, third degree black belt. It ain't... A... Hey. hey. He's going to kick me in the face. No, but like I said, dude, he's... This is a good guy, and he. It's. Uh, I wouldn't bring someone to your house that's not gonna catch the same vibe as us, you know. Yeah. Uh, I. Did you drink uh, out of my beer? No. I okay. Like you. Thank God. <laughs> triangle, him. triangle, right now. Triangle. Like triangle. Eiffel Tower. Right. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, oh. Oh, 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 I thought. Oh shit, my bad. I right, thought. Bad. Shout out Augustine. <laughs> tell, me, tell me what that was. Yeah, yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, that's his old laptop. She's. Oh, Got she's maggots dead. and shit, yeah. Oh, yeah she might be seven feet, dude. Decompose. Anyways, oh. when you say. You wouldn't just bring anyone over to my house. Like when you texted me, it's funny. It's funny because when you were like, it's cool my homie comes through. Yeah. Automatically, I was like, it's probably that fucker that's always in his Snapchat videos, dude. Yeah. I was like, it's probably this fool. I was like, yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, I guess going back to like LA, do you feel, yes, you have your girlfriend and she's definitely a rock in your life, but when it comes down to another homie in your life, do you feel vulnerable and like easily gullible when you are in a city where no one knows you? No one really has your back. Your family's in San Jose. Yeah, like not just like, in San Jose. They like don't really you mean be- like if I like if I meet someone and I immediately like give them everything about me? Yeah, because not not just like fighting in the street type backing up, but like just in general, just like hanging out or just like t- even conversation. Cause you can't trust everybody. Cause I've, no. I've had conversations with people that I've met and I'm really open. Yeah. Right off the bat, two weeks later, I'm like, "Fuck this fool, dude! Why the fuck did I even tell that fool about my life?" What no, the fuck? there's like Snap there's the shit out you. there's dudes that I've met in my class who like are definitely like cool dudes, and like they're I, but I don't kick it with them outside of class. The only dude I kick it with is my boy Hank, and that's it. Like we go out, we drink. I know how he acts. So is I, Hank it's like, white? Is he a white dude? Of course. I was just making Come sure, on, dude. bro. All right, shout out yeah. Hank. Yeah. Hank. Yeah, that's that's a guy right <laughs> Does there. Does he sell propane? No, he sells oh. meth. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, oh. yeah, that's that. Uh, he's like the only one that I kind of like was, uh, like, bro, come over. Come to yeah, my yeah, house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, for sure. For let, sure. Let's go have a beer. Let's go drink, yeah. bro. Like. 
Um, so my school's on Sunset, and oh, uh, wow. during during lunch we would go we uh, we would go out and be like, bro, let's just grab like a burger and a brew, like right across the street. And yeah, it's like we have our fucking backpacks on, and we're just having a fucking brew or two, you know. And it's like, it's 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 weird to think like I can immediately bond with someone like that. Like it's not just like oh we're fading and shit, but like we're we have the same interests. Yeah. So no, it's like that's... immediately we're friends, but it's like I haven't known him long enough. To like know everything, but it's like right off the bat, it's like I know I'm cool with him, so it's like he's cool with me. I haven't met anybody else who's like been cool with me like that, but like yeah. he, th- there's other people who are like I'm cool with. Like you make music, that's dope. I like your music, it's dope, but I'm not. I don't kick it with them outside of class. I guess because you already know, you know me and how my opinions of everything basically. You know how the f- when it comes to music, you know yeah, how yeah. I feel. Do you, because I feel like a lot of people, especially that are trying to like go like go to producer schools, they're all into the new fucking, shut the fuck up, dude. See? Does that bother you? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I, I got, like, like, what I'm are you, a piece of shit. Dude. No, no, no. I'm like, like it's like, you're ty- like a mumble rapper type shit. Well, just like, because I'll, I'll, I'll even see fools of the gym and I'll fucking take my headphones out on purpose just to hear what they're talking about. And they're yeah. like, hey, bro, you hear that little fucking little baby? And you, but you, I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys have extra chromosomes, bro. Anyway. <laughs> no, see? Because, no, because, little, like, see, because you don't like, any of their music and i get that that's your opinion but does that make me a fucking piece of shit no yeah it does (laughs) it does it definitely does it definitely does but uh, i mean you're my homie so i'm not gonna judge you you know but but yeah it's like if if i'm talking to my fucking boy at the gym and i see some fool the same age as me this is me fucking me 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 with his fucking grandpa diapers on pissed off i'm going relax gramps i'm talking i like this artist i'm chest pressing it up at the fucking gym and i and i see someone talking about that i'm like yeah you're fucking lame brother see like yeah dude no you're a super hater but i am i I understand but i know if you talk to those people and you met those people it'd be a different story you're not an asshole in real per in real life no you're a fucking teddy bear yeah i would agree with that you're a pussy no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding (laughs) i'm just kidding (laughs) no you're you're too nice i gotta make sure this camera's on Oh, I would have killed myself by now. Oh, my bad. It was like never. I've never pressed record. This was just no, insane. It was on. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> that would suck. Just straight audio. Mm, nice. Bro, I was gonna have a seizure earlier. One of those was just fucking blinding lights. I was like, I could just see the reflection. I was like, holy shit. What are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Time is money. Turn off for a second. Okay, but yes, you see me as, yes, we're homies, but I'm a hater, but what, I mean, like, fuck, dude. You're a, you're a hater to yourself, though. Like, you keep it to yourself. You're not going to straight up, you're not, you're not the guy who's going to tweet out, oh, little baby's ass, little baby's this, little baby's this. Oh, I won't? <laughs> no, but like, like, you don't do that, but I know you no, would, I, but you, you don't do that, so that's what, you're a hater to yourself. And it's your own opinions. But what do you think about like, but yeah, but yeah. what do you think about like like where rap's going? Like where rap music is going. Kendrick's supposed to drop an album soon. Kendrick Lamar is top ten of me of all time. Ken, Kendrick Lamar is the top ten rapper of all time. In my he's opinion. he's number one for me. Number one of all time. But listen, this is my opinion, no, dude. No, but that's a good It's my opinion. But that's the thing is I, I don't even That's a good him. opinion. Yes. Because I'm not wrong. Twenty seventeen. In this motherfucker's grandma's garage. Oh Bravo, yeah, damn. bro. We, 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 we there was a every, like, the last album. album damn, he yeah. was, dude. this dude came to my this dude came. We I was like, bro, come over. Let's let's fade and let's listen to the whole album. Way too. Wait We're till, like, we love Kendra like that. Yeah. So like drops. he came over, we dropped, bro. There was this one song on there, and we replayed it nine the times. Rihanna, the Duckworth. No, 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 no. Duckworth is the best beat I've ever heard in my fucking life. Duckworth that was my beat song oh, is that. so hard. It, it was, yeah, but, we're but yeah, we were listening to one beat. It, it wasn't the song with Rihanna yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't loyalty. It was oh, yeah. some other one. Um, but we listened to it no joke nine times in a row, in a row. and we we're just fucking, you know, just having a great time. People bro. like that, 
And you can include J. Cole. I under I know that you're a huge J. Cole yeah, fan. Yeah, I, I love him. I, I yeah, it's a great, no, great artist. Anyone that loves J. Cole, I will never knock it because I understand what J. Cole has Does. done. It's just I not understand. your cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea, but yeah. I will never be like, J. Cole fucking sucks. J. Cole is yeah. a fucking uh, He's enormous great. rapper. He's amazing. Yeah. But Kendrick Lamar, something, something about, about Lamar, that dude. It, it, is it's, 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 it's to the point it's, where it's, it's like it's 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 it's, 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 it's <laughs> I can put him on my top ten and not feel weird about it. No, you can't. I can can't, put him on my top bro. five about it and not be feel weird What's, about it. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, dude, top ten's a lot. It, and, and exactly, and he's still just doing his. No, thing. no. The, to think about it, like top a top ten of anything is a lot. Yeah. Like putting someone top ten is a big deal, even if it's your opinion. Yeah. Like I love to hear people's top ten. Like, what what are your top ten favorite movies? You know. What's your top 10 fucking favorite rappers? Like, we're just saying right now. Like, those type of things. I was like, I'm saying these are the top 10 in the world. The best ever to do it. Those are your top oh, 10. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. no. It's not like I top, love giving my opinion out on that. It, because it makes you think. It makes yeah. you really have to... It like, makes you think, how the fuck do you put this person here, this person here, you know? Yeah. That's, That's why it's huge on tic, uh, on TikTok. I don't know if you're on TikTok at all, up, but... Dude. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But... Besides all like the ass shaking and shit, you scroll up and you see a bunch of like music stuff, and it's like people putting like top ten Drake songs shit, and it's I'm looking, I'm like, what, dude? Okay. What? There's no way. I want to ask both you guys. Yeah, I knew this was gonna come. What Drake? Yeah, I knew ah! this was gonna come. That used to be your guy. You so you really do know me more than like ninety five percent. I know of you people. more than you. <laughs> Probably, dude. I'm not yeah. gay. Um, Drake. Is honestly when nothing was the same came out, I was like, all right, dude, this fool's like the goat, dude. The goat, he's yeah, the goat. Was the same. Greatest ever, Greatest? brother. But, hey. and then, but see, that's when the list comes how into play. You, how do you feel about Drake overall as an overall artist? Artist, artist. Ooh. Overall, not oh, just us, the last yeah, yeah, yeah. year. O- overall as an artist, since he came out, my top five. Okay. And I'll say that right now. Artist. Say, as an artist. As an artist, he's. Fucking oof! This is hard for me. He's top three for me, yeah. artist okay. wise. Drake, no, what what he has meant to the game and to what he has meant to me personally, bro. bro like, to, like fucking Drake makes his. I know it's sleep, fucking bro. corny and cliche to say, but yeah. the it, numbers they unfortunately they don't, they don't lie, they don't dude. Lie. Numbers don't lie. They don't lie until <sighs> quit banging your hand on that. I could hear oh, it. My bad, my bad. But no, no, I'm just kidding. I wasn't even banging. I just said. Yeah. But yeah, it's <sighs> you, it, uh, top. It's. It's weird to put it in in that sense, like, oh, this is your top three artist of all time, but other people, you know. Who are your top three right now? Artist, artist so ever? Right now. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. But see, like, yeah. see, like, oh, I, I, I can I would but need, I would need a fucking day to think of that. Really? Yeah, dude. I can't I mean, name top a three top right three. Who are, your, who are your top three right now? Is it current, current, like currently? Uh, artist, uh, not rapper, not anything. Artist. Oh, not rapper? A full on musician, not even a musician, just an artist, a person's name in music. All right, um, me, the top three of all time. Alice oh, in Chains. You, you fucking. That's what I was just about to I see, I know this guy say, more. Dude. I know this guy more than anybody. Lead bro. singer of Alice in Chains, you son of a bitch. Um, rapper wise, I, I don't want to say. Artist, like, well, no. dipshit. All right, um, Van Gogh. Okay. Um, rapper, right now. Sorry, since you already had it loaded. Rapper. It looks like you, looks like you have it loaded. Leonardo. Blah, blah. <laughs> um, Tom Hanks. Um, I mean, well, rappers. Okay. Th- my top five kind of changes all the time because my shit does too. Yeah. It's like, yeah. fuck, dude. Like my top three rappers is way different than my top three artists. My top yeah, three rappers yeah. are Kendrick, Cole, Biggie. Those are my top three. Oh my god. Yeah, in y'all, that y'all, order. Y'all gonna hate me. Fuck. In that order. No, right. order. What is it? Kendrick, yep. Cole, Biggie. That's my order in rappers. Oh God, and dude. it sounds so fucking you cliche like and boring. Air Force Ones yeah, yeah, you that's go. fine. And <laughs> but my fucking opinions. Dude, like, Air Force it, my opinion's <laughs> not wrong, no, it's bro. Not, it's like your opinion, yeah. No, no, that's the thing. Is Tupac is he's got to be four, four, five, maybe. Okay. But so, the thing is, he was a great storyteller. Yeah. He 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 added rhythm to his shit. Okay. His shit made you know the club scene a little bit. I I started listening to Eminem maybe when I was like twenty. 
Okay, see, this is Wait. this is why when new things come to my head, then my fucking change, my shit changes. Exactly. Yeah, Eminem was one of the greatest. Okay, uh, one of the ever. Okay. Well, not gonna, and, and, gonna and I'm that. not gonna sit here and be like, dude, Eminem's the fucking, he's the, the the great hope for us, and I fucking love Eminem, and he's the best rapper ever. If you really listen, and I I don't put Eminem in my top five, as in my p- top personal. Yeah, per- favorites. We're talking about favorites. He's not in yeah, my, he is not in my top five favorites. But if you really, Damn. I know a lot of old Eminem, and just the fact, like, if you listen to old Eminem, it is like nobody else in this entire world can put fucking words no. together. No, like, oh, I remember it's when my when my brother insane. bought the album, the the encore album. Encore. My fucking That's god, right. I right. felt like I wasn't allowed to listen to this. Exactly, and it was a fucking masterpiece. Exactly, too. dude crazy dude it's crazy like no joke dude like yeah my brother is 99 percent of the influence. influence of all yeah. what i listen to today he shaped like how i listen to shit it was until like maybe middle school when i started listening to like my own shit like i'd branch out were you were you a kid cuddy kid oh fuck yeah fuck yeah i never man. was and i want to hear about it okay i Bro, never was we used to fucking seventh grade um Come this on, is man. the soundtrack to my life. Bro, that was seventh grade? Yeah, we were in middle school. What a, That's Man on the Moon 1. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the album cover. Oh, voice the, the album cover. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. That, Man on the Moon 1. That's like that's like eighth grade shit. That's, that, that is you like... Guys were, you guys were... I was going to say seventh grade, but that, you guys were uh, ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 Wanna, oh, wanna know what's yeah, crazy? Man on the Moon 1 and Man on the Moon 2 both sit in my top 10 albums of all time. Both those albums. So you were not? a Kid Cudi oh. kid. It's yeah. weird because everybody has to have that spot for Cudi. Because of all the shit he's been through, well, too. Cudi meant to us. I, yeah. I don't, but it's not because I hate him. It's because I just didn't like catch on to it. I was just, just like, okay, when me and you, Lee High School, freshman to sophomore year, Wiz Khalifa to everyone was God. We were just talking, we were just we talking were about just this in the car, bro. The I was car. telling you I was all... Cause Never mind, but I was yeah I was gonna say some shit, yeah, but yeah. never mind. But yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say because he 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 used to talk to some girl and she she went to Brandon and he he always does this jo- he always does this joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I no, joke no 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 he always joke. does this joke Every when he goes time. to the bar he goes he goes when he's when he's with me he goes yeah I went to Lee like, <laughs> I went to Lee too <laughs> like it always does it Every and then time. the one time he did oh I went to Lee she was like, I went to Brandon fuck that school she I was, was like, all was and gonna, not just like oh I didn't actually go there beat my ass. <laughs> Not yeah. <laughs> yeah. Susan will beat my ass. And I was like, I can I was smell like, it from here. Dude. Oh I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, but, hey, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no. But but like, okay, freshman to sophomore year. I don't even remember junior that that much. But Taylor not gang. to me. Taylor gang. Taylor okay, gang. Let me. Wiz Khalifa was everyone's god, and I was like, what we're, okay. Is this shit? So we we said everything in detail about yeah, this. We yeah. said the two there there was two gods during our time. In that in that whole thing, it was Mac Miller. It was Khalifa. Mac Miller and I Wiz Khalifa. It, I fucking knew it, my dude. guy. That's what we were I talking about. When yes. Donald Trump came out and everyone was like, I was like, who are these fucking dudes from Pittsburgh? So okay, dude? what? And they were both. They, they went to the same Pittsburgh. fucking high school. They were yeah. Both from yeah, both yeah. from Pittsburgh, dude. Yeah. That shit yeah. was our. That was our high school. It was Mac Miller and it was fucking. And I hate it on them Taylor both. Gang. I hate it on them See, both. See, dude. Yeah. Yeah, You're a up. fucking okay, weirdo. <laughs> these, are, these, are, these, are, uh, these are my top three. Uh, it's gonna be Kendrick, Mac Miller, and Drake. That's uh, correct. Artists, okay, artists. Give, yeah, yeah. Okay. Rappers, oh, whatever. rappers. Well, Mac was an uh, artist at the end. You know what I mean? Mac Miller is a fuck. Okay, listen. He was an artist at the end. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Mac yeah. When I started rapping, the first beat I ever rapped over was "New Faces" by Mac Miller with wow. a little sweatshirt. And I was at Lone Hill Park with Anoush, and we were smoking blunts. And yeah. I, were, I had a computer, a MacBook, and a microphone, and I'm outside recording. Mac Miller, I hated on him. I didn't hate. Okay, yeah, you know me. I hated on him. The fuck Mac is your Miller deal? is one. It, it, Mac Miller is a f- amazing. Yeah. Mac Miller is amazing. So you, you realize this later. So you hated first. When he was coming out with like the super white boy, like super like the kids dumb, mixtape, and Ni- all that Nike's shit. on my feet, Nike's on my feet. Oh my god, we're just we're, talking bro. About and that. Nike's okay. on my feet was the first Mac Miller song I ever listened to. You know what I heard uh, that shit? No, you know <laughs> you're gay, dude. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, that's okay, where I was okay. At. So the first time I ever listened to Mac Miller, I would remember uh, Math Recovery for the fucking idiots. 
who failed yeah, their cool fucking dude. shit. No, just looked like a fucking Mormon idiot because no. I didn't even fucking pass that class. <laughs> no, I know. I know. Bro, anybody could have guessed that. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, you were in fucking recovery with me. Like, yeah, I let's. Reco- I didn't recover. I remember you ditched recovery to go fight some fool. <laughs> oh, my God. I did, dude. Yeah. Anyways. I did. Yeah, so math recovery. Uh, I was me and uh, Connor Peterson. And Connor Peterson told me he was uh, uh, a. I went to Lee. I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was. Oh, I was I, he told me. <laughs> he told me he goes, bro. You gotta listen to this dude, Mac Miller. What year is this? Freshman year. Two thousand ten. Ten. He goes, bro. You gotta listen to the, to Mac Miller. And I was all, ah, I'll give him a fucking chance. And then the next day in math recovery, because he had to go every day because we're idiots. But <laughs> we, the next day, I, I I pulled up. I showed him a, a on my fucking iPod. I showed him uh, Mac touch. Miller, yep. na- uh, Nike's on my feet, and he goes, "Bro, I told you." He goes, "That shit's heat," and that was all. Uh, that shit, it from there what, what, it was it changed what's everything. Your, what's, what's your reaction when you find out that dude just overdosed and died? Weird, man. Super weird. I, I don't know how to feel when because you don't know them personally. Exactly. So, or like, same thing with like Kobe. Oh my! Up, don't even. But you grew up with them. You know what I mean? Exactly. You guys keep hitting the table, and I could hear on the mic, and it's I, fucking I, I, pissing I, I, me I, I off. All right, but yeah. Anyways, Mac Miller, 2018, September 2018, he dies. I What's your you, reaction? I tell you exactly what I was doing. I get a text from this motherfucker. Talking to the mic. Oh, I get a text from this motherfucker, and he goes, "Bro, Mac Miller just overdosed." I said, "Shut the fuck up." I was driving after a fucking work meeting. Had a coworker in my car. Swerved over like a lane and a half, bro. Not even, f- I legit was like, shut the fuck. I, and all I heard it was, hey, and I was like, oh fuck, dude. I snapped back into it and I texted the phone. I was like, bro, I just swerved like three lanes. Not yeah. even funny. I was like, I was like, shut the fuck up. He goes, yeah. no, he's dead. And I was like, yeah. bro, stop. Dude, Don't I, fucking with me right now. That shit was yeah. mad weird. Cause like I said before, you don't know them, but that, that was a big part of your life. Yep. Yeah. And it's like, I love, I love how people hate on people loving someone so much, yeah. like when they yeah. pass away and shit. Yeah. And it's like, no, it's like, oh, like you say, oh, they're a good guy. But then you're like, they, they, they clown you, bro. You didn't fucking know them. How do you know they were a good guy? I was all, dude, they impacted my life a little bit. No, uh, fucking yeah. uh, good AM. Me and this motherfucker <laughs> wrote for that the entire night. And even fucking... Um, Swimming. Fuck it, swimming. So, uh, swimming. The night people so, oh, who's Mac Miller? Hey, oh yeah, bro, I remember Mac this. Miller? We were yeah. we were getting on a flight to go to Cabo. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Mac Miller dropped swimming, and Travis Scott dropped Astro World on the same day. Same day. Two thousand eighteen. Yeah. Me, I, I told, it was all. Uh, I, the first thing I told him was, like, "Bro, Mac just dropped." Blah blah. blah. That's, That's the first, the first we album we listened to on the plane. Was Mac Miller. And Astro World became like, and I remember going on Twitter, everyone was going, Mac Miller, who? Mac Miller, Miller this. All this Slant, shit. all this slander. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, you don't think of it now, but you, you I mean, you don't think of it back then, but you think of it now because he passed. It's like, damn, dude, like people really didn't realize how, how impactful that album was. Was, yeah. dude. And, and, he, and now it, it went fucking platinum and shit. Yeah. And it's like, Damn, that's I mean. And he was an actual musician. He he, he was, he was like a rapper. phenomenal. He was, a fucking Brr, artist. He was an artist. He was an artist. He could yeah. play guitar, shoot the fucking bass, played the, the piano, piano, played the piano himself, the yeah. riffs, everything. He was a he was an artist. What? So, as R.I.P. Mac Miller. But when it, you you mentioned Travis Scott, mm-hmm. okay. I think that a lot of these elite fucking artists, not Mac Miller. I think Mac Miller was always someone that was transparent that you could relate he to. Was, That's the no, homie. Mac That's the Miller homie. was never this, this exactly. artist yeah. to the world, you know? Exactly. He was the homie. Was it, the homie. To Mac Miller fans, he was up here, but to everybody else, it was like, oh, he doesn't have a hit, whatever. He Mac, doesn't have a hit, whatever. Not just whatever. that, but even Mac Miller fans, I would look at interviews and I'm like, I could, I guarantee you if I was like to run into Mac Miller on the street, I could at least get five minutes with him and be like, what's up, man? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be hella cool. Yeah. When Travis Scott, when the Astro World... I was in Huntington Beach on the way to a Suicide Boys concert, yeah. and the and like the twenty hours before was when that shit went down. Does your opinion change of Travis Scott, who he as who he is as a person? Because motherfuckers are dying, and he's no, doesn't seem to give a fuck. Nah, see, like this, it's like soup. I hate that everything's so controversial now, but it, everything is that that dude. What the fuck was he supposed to do? Yeah, like I get what. Okay, so. 
Unless un- did so when when they're they're saying that he locked eyes to the situation going, but every concert has some dude like fucking falling into a mosh pit and everything like some dude yeah. falling in somewhere in in into the crowd or like it happens at every concert. Yeah. He probably just looked at it like these guys, knowing the artist that he is and the yeah. the. Um, the fans that he attracts, that's his thing. It's yeah. the whole moshing Mosh, scene and everything, yeah. you know? Yeah. So he saw that, he goes, ah, they're just moshing. In my head, I'm like going, oh, he's they're just moshing. Someone got fucked up, cool. He can't stop it for all of them. Yeah. And then... Do you like concerts like that? Like, would you go to a concert like that? No. Okay. No. Me neither. Yeah. Me fucking either. Festivals I, in general, no. Even yeah. like Coachella shit. No. Yeah, no. People, I, I, I have some people who are like, hey, come to Coachella. I got an extra ticket. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm cool, bro. I'm, I'm cool not, off yeah, that. I'm not, I would love to experience it once because I don't know how yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. But apparently, like, uh, like even like raves and shit. I've been <sighs> invited to like raves, and it's like I, I'm good because I don't yeah. listen to that music. But everybody yeah. says that those are like the nicest people ever. It's because they're all hopped up on Molly, dude. Yeah, they're all awesome. nice. They're, they're all, all nice awesome because dude. they're all fucking rolling balls. And then I, I pop out some meth and I'm weird. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, I, yeah. I bring out my fucking syringes and yeah. you guys think I'm a fucking. Oh, crackhead. now I'm weird. Fuck off, weirdos. Dude. All right, you know what yeah. I mean. Mac Miller still can't cool. even bring a letter and a spoon anymore. Yeah, you know no, I mean? not at all. Apparently yeah. that's fucking sexist. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. um, somehow. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like when I heard that shit with Travis Scott. I don't know how to explain it because because you already don't. I already know you didn't like him. When Asher will <laughs> drop, when Asher get your elbows off the table. No. Hey mom, um, even... <laughs> when Asher will, hey, when Asher will drop though, I my because I feel like I can pinpoint when like a good project drops. When when Asher will dropped, I was like, this is fire. This is a fire. It was a project. great album. No, great no, album. Was, That's not what we listened to immediately. No, 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 hey, because because. By personal choice, yeah, you know, yeah. fans and shit. We're, we listened the, to the Mac yeah, Miller first, Mac Miller. but the the obviously the Travis Scott album was insane. It was great. No, I remember when it, I was like, oh, single like mode, dog. Like, yeah, that come on. when that Banger. song, like when that when that when I heard that, I was like, this this I can song is tell. fucking amazing. But now that you play that song now, and you're like, it's uh, so fucking annoying, dude. Because everybody oh, yeah. made it weird. I don't know. I don't know. You hear the yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. give me the loot. Yeah, I mean. When I, but like I can hear it when instant classics, but that's what I was gonna say. Like when that came out, I was like, "All right, like this is gonna be known as like a project that everyone talks about." Yeah. But Faces by Mac Miller, 2013. For, that's when I started rapping because it was like him and Earl Sweatshirt. I don't know. Yeah. Faces you remember, was crazy. You remember, that, that, dude, dude, that's when I was like, it's cliche oh. to say because everyone. This yeah. is like everyone's fucking favorite song on the album, but uh, the, the Diablo right? was. Diablo. The rap Diablo. The rap Diablo yeah, shit yeah, yeah, yeah. was the it, dude, hardest shit ever. Why is that song ever. my favorite? Because that song's fucking gnarly. Insane, it's so good. bro. The, the whole, well, the as even was fucking even insane. viewing it like in a producer standpoint, you like you hear that beat and you're like, oh, bro, that shit sounds so well, fucking hard. I could sell hard. water. I could sell I could water, sell water, water to, to a, a fucking speedboat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what he said. To a speedboat. Yeah, I mean, we we were talking about fucking faces. Like, oh, sorry. we were we, me and him would go back and forth about faces yeah. even before then. Like, dude. Half the fucking songs were just so fucking depressing, but that's what made it good because the content on it was like, bro, and it barely it, it finally shit. dropped on exactly. Spotify. Yeah, and it was like right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it, it was weird. Like, that was recent. And yeah. it was like, dude, like, how, like Angel, I didn't have to go Angel on, Dust and all that shit was yeah. like some of the. I didn't have to go on Dat Piff. Yeah, fucking anymore, dude, everything. Like, you used to have to go on oh Dat Piff to listen to Dat Piff. Oh, yeah. I have to go on that for you have to, to listen for, to Facebook for J Cole. I have to go on that for J Cole's The Warm Up. Joey Badass, nineteen ninety nine. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That motherfucking album. That guy. Mixtape. That that guy. Is, that was I guy. knew that was your guy, and that was the only guy in this generation that stuck with you. Joey? Yeah. Man. And I, I met him. I fucking gave oh, him. A, I, gave shit. Him a th- I gave him a thug hug. He was like, "What's up, man?" I'm like, "Dude, for real?" Dude. I was, yeah, me, Brandon, and Omar. We just like waited outside the Catalyst for an hour. What? And we like waited for a picture, and he was like, "Sorry, bro." And I was like, "What?" But he's like, "What's up, man?" Anyways. Wait, what? Yeah, no, he wouldn't. He, we waited for an hour and for he, a picture. And he but would, he still dapped you up. He couldn't up take a, a quick picture. Nope. And that ever since then, Fools I was like, are weird, I was bro. like oh, you're small. I'd beat the fuck out of you, dude. <laughs> Bitch. Uh, I'll, try, I'll try and suck you, dude. <laughs> but that's, like, those are the rappers. Like, when 1999 came out, Joey Badass, yeah. you talk about Boom Bap. It's like, that, that is so rare to come by. Remember Capital yeah. Steez, his homie Capital Steez? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes, bro. Thinking about yeah. him yesterday for the first time in years, I was like, "Oh my God, Capital Steez. Yeah, all those fools. 
You know, rappers like that, I don't know. I mean, the game is so watered down these days where, like I said, I'm at the gym and I look at the fucking text of the fucking rappers or whoever's before. Yeah. I'm like, ah, who the fuck? What the so fuck? So, like, is when it, so I'm, I'm gonna talk about like the top dogs, I guess, right now and like on the charts, you know, like, yeah. like Gunna. You're not a fan of Gunna. No. Okay. Lil Baby, no. You don't oh like Lil Baby. Wanna, but the I thing wanna, is... I want to toe off with The thing point. is, Lil Baby, to me, he's... he's. I don't really fuck with him that much either. Yeah. He's It's very selective. Yeah. Like, well, on the songs all sound the fucking... I tried to songs. fucking... I tried to understand it. I tried my hardest. I'm like, all right, I'll try it. What the fuck song? What difference is it between all your fucking songs, cocksucker? All right? Okay. All you guys fucking sound the same. All right. I'll well, beat baby, the fuck out of them. I'll smack baby. the fucking piss out of them. <laughs> I'll smack the fucking piss out of Lil Baby and the baby <laughs> at the same time. I was about to mention the baby next. That I can't baby. stand that fool, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I can't, just because I hate, him. I hate him. He legit does do the same song 19 times. Oh, and, yeah. the, and then you got... Beat. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. yeah. And now you got MGK, who was like a rapper. He's like, oh, my God, I'm a fucking oh. goth motherfucker. This is I'll the guy I wanted to speak about. What, MGK? Yeah, I, no, I feel, I feel like we're just being haters now, but... You guys I, like MGK's and shit? We're like two and a half hours deep. It doesn't matter. Cut. <clears throat> I'm just... I'm just I don't, I don't like... Beer. I don't like MGK. <laughs> Did you hear that whole shit? Did you hear that whole shit where he wasn't even playing with the, like the guitar mic thing on? Okay. Or okay. It, there, wanna, there's like a wanna... switch on the guitar where if you turn it uh, down and you like strum it, nothing happens. Like even when you're playing it like uh, like with no amp or anything, yeah. nothing happens. You have to flick it up for you to be able to hear shit. Yep. On I, all I of his it. all of his I live concerts, that shit was down it. every time. I saw it. Crazy. Yeah. I mean. But I'm just what being about, a hater, what, I guess. But. No, no, no. You're not being a hater because what about what about rappers that just every single rapper does this? And I've talked about this probably on oh, every podcast. Oh, okay. I, I do. I did want to speak on this with you. Right, the, what do you think? The rappers rapping over their song. I, you, okay. For me, you got to be open minded about this. I like it because it still adds uh, flavor to the concert. The concert's yes, still hearing. Does. They're it hearing does. the song they know. Yeah. In the background, yeah. Yes. So they're, they're so it's 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 juiced up like that. That's like saying okay, that's so boof how they have the 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 beat playing in the background or anything like that. What's up, bro? That that they have the beat playing in the background. They should be playing it, but with the with the drums, you know, like it's the same thing as saying it like that. Because I don't want to come off as like I'm like the same old hater, but I, I, like when I went to Suicide Boys, or I've gone to multiple shows, and I'm just like the. The song's playing and they're dancing around. And I'm like, wait, what? That's just your song playing. I was like, what the fuck, man? Give me more 50 fucking bucks back, dude. Okay, yeah. Joy Badass, no background vocals, full got mosh pits going. I'll tell you right now, I pop. saw Joey Badass open up for uh, Logic and his shit had a background in it. You know what, Joey Badass? Uh, me and Abraham and, it, and, and it's and, are gonna and it was fucking, and, and it was dope, dude. And it, it, it's 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 all right. Like it, it's not a big deal because they're still performing. They're there. They're there to be entertainment. Yes, and I and it's taken me a long time to understand that it's not the '90s anymore. We have to prove to your, you have to prove to everyone that you're yes. an MC, and you have to yeah. like fucking really go out there and spit. Yeah. These days, it's like no, they're paying you because they want. It's like it's like a live movie. They want to see. Yeah. you inter, get, in, they, they want to see. They want to see yeah. you okay. do that song. But I've only done two shows, and the two shows I've done, it's like instrumentals. I'm just gonna go out there and do it. So that's I, cool. I, 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 There's nothing wrong with yeah. that. No, it is cool. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. I, I just get because the the way the rapping rapping is going, I feel like it's more of a, it's not so much the art of emceeing, it's more of like the entertainment value of it, you know? Right. And I guess I don't know. Call me an old head. It's just it is what it is. What yeah. Was that was, that? Uh, someone's running a train next door. Um, Sleep train. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is the longest podcast I've ever fucking done. What are we at? I want to say it's almost at like two and a half hours. I can tell you exactly. That might, that's, that's, a, that's a little tell you, excessive. Tell you you want to say it's excessive? Check the fucking time. <coughs> that's excessive. You know what I mean? It's almost two hours. Almost. Okay, that's We're good. We're at an hour and uh, like... The camera died. I turned. It turned minutes. off. I had to turn it back on. Wait, what? It died? No, but it's... it's, 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 it's no, but it died mid through? Yeah, it went, uh, it went like an hour 45 yeah. and then died. And then I went back there and turned it up. So it's going to be like a minute of it with no video. That we don't know what part happened. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean? Shit happens, right? Yeah. 
That's crazy, bro. Yeah, we went through a lot this of beers like, and a lot of topics. Is, yeah, I know. I was gonna say like I'm. I got drunk off these Modelo's and I don't. Yeah, really this isn't gonna be the last time I'm. Oh, I'm no, on here. Not no, at all. This is gonna be a part one of fifty. You're gonna. This is because I'm is, that interesting. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is part one. Um, yeah. But next time, I think the problem is I want to go to San Jose and get a bunch of people, but it's like that'd be how cool. Do you, how do you set this shit all? Like I don't know where to go. I mean, Lost yeah, because the setup you have right now is really nice in the in the house. I mean, we still have shoom visuals. In oh, yeah. yeah sure. and, you know what I mean? Yeah. Almost had like three seizures. We're fucking... Okay. Yeah. No, okay, three no, seizures okay. and like six Modellos. Yeah. Modellos or Coronas? Modellos. Yeah. A thousand percent. Modellos. Yes! Thank don't, you. Yeah, don't be dumb. <laughs> don't <laughs> yeah, ask some, don't ask some <laughs> dumb shit on here. Come on. <laughs> why? Why, why, why Modellos? Tastes better. <laughs> Are you dumb? <laughs> well, okay, what's what is? I'm gonna end this on. I see your fucking Snapchats and Instagrams. You motherfuckers, got, you party. No, don't even. It's no, a, no, don't. Ah, it's only oh, nice town. Don't. It's uh, only nice town. You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way, dude. What's the mixed drink of choice? Oh, vodka cream. It depends. What? Okay, it depends. Mixed drink? Yeah. Yeah, that's if yeah. I go out and I'm feeling fucking frisky, I'm gonna do a vodka cream. Okay. If anything, if I'm not, then I'm gonna do a beer every time. I'm gonna do a modelo every time. See. No, fuck a beer right okay. now. I want to know about like a the mixed shit drink. That makes that's you mine. Drink. That's mine. Okay. Lately, it's been old fashions. I've been really into old fashions Whiskey? lately. He's yeah, ninety. Sorry. Yeah, I'm ninety. Whiskey, dude. Hey, but normally, fucking Jack and Coke. Oh my god, that's why you hey. have that beard, dude. Hey, that's why you, that's dude, why you're hey, a pedophile. That shit, I, <laughs> oh, you chill like out, like, You like that one? <laughs> dude, as soon as I take a sip, dude, I get hairier. It's not even, <laughs> it's not even fucking funny, bro. Like, no, nah, I, I I I don't care what I have. I'm just gonna have one drink and I'll stick with that usually the rest of the many, night. Okay, so that one drink, how many do you think you can hang with in a night without being like a fucking oh. belligerent piece of shit? Without being a belligerent piece, piece of, of shit? shit, yeah. Uh, I th- five. four or five and then it's like fuck I'm like really feeling it but I'm not like an asshole to people you know what about I'm, I'm not I'm saying that I'm an asshole to fucking people yeah, you know yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about you <laughs> fuck it is probably probably like four or five as well okay I'll, I'll stick with like four Jack and Cokes before I switch to beer cause it, oh it, you're a fucking animal dude. cause when you're five Jack and Cokes then I'll start drinking beer because I don't give a fuck about yeah, society I gotta sober down you know what I mean <laughs> yeah, cause, <laughs> yeah cause when you're at the bar you're not really like counting you're what you're like, doing you know you're just, you're just in the Especially zone you're at fucking Tombs or you're at fucking Stevie's I don't oh give cartoons a oh my god I, I went there with you we were at a recording session meet you and Angel and I was like let's just go to cartoons did we really go to cartoons yeah but do you remember when we went to the bar next to my house touched down to Mike's place and we got birthday blowjobs remember that hey yo They're wait Hey, Come, hey sorry, hold on. No, 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 no. Hey, no, no, no. Bro, not blowjobs like I'm getting fellatio, but like, what was the drink? It was like. It was me fellatio. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, uh, it, was like, it was like a caffeine shit, right? Yeah. And it had like the thing on it. And, it and then like cream, like I, I looked at you, I'm all. I was all, yeah. what are we doing, idiot? Like, <laughs> what the fuck's going on? You know, I was yeah, all, are you serious? Swap and, but, me out, dude. and like, and the bartender was going like, you don't, don't be pussies. Yeah, don't yeah, be pussies yeah. doing it. And I was like, okay, now I can't be a pussy or else I'm a hitter. Yeah, so she, it's like, I have to, I have to drink it now. She had like no teeth though. But uh, anyways, meth. We got- <laughs> Crazy, bro. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, that was a good time. That was a, f- I, that was, I, that's what always uh, was favorite. Like, I love that part where we would make a song and we would feel hella good about celebrate, it. And let's celebrate. go, let's go to the fucking bar, let's go you know? Get drunk and, and just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was dope. It's, I mean. We didn't really get any, like, royalty money off that shit. Though. I don't but, care. Uh, yeah, you're right. See, all he cares about the money. Uh, Piece of shit. Kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, actually, you guys be on this podcast, you guys both owe me 20 bucks. And, uh, okay. Goes. That should cover gas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you guys are the longest podcast I've ever had. This is yeah. by far the favorite, po- my favorite podcast I've ever done. I've done seven, but this is my favorite. Well, ever- that's mean. <laughs> yeah, Angel, fuck off. No, <laughs> that's my guy. That's no. a good guy. You know what we should do is you and Angel. Me and Angel. You, me and Angel. We'll get deep yeah, in no, each other. Deep. Like in. And- yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Rerun, yo, rerun hey, that. Yeah. No, hey, no, you get deep in each other. I'll record it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. yeah. Shout out right. August Same. She taught us the way. <laughs> she taught us the way. Jada right. Pinkett, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, damn. I Sorry. knew that was going to happen. Um, that was a big talk- topic before we started this. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? I appreciate you guys coming on here. This course, is by man. far my favorite podcast we've ever done. This was a and, fun uh, experience, dude. I just want to say real quick thanks for having me over. Like I said, first time I met you, 
Don't, cool ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, didn't all day. Weirdo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, this was this was a cool experience. I was I wasn't nervous, but I was like, damn, I don't want to come off as an idiot. Probably did come off as an idiot, but no, the whole time you're an idiot. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come off. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I, think, I think the problem is the drive. Um, it sucks. It's a hassle, but it, it's um, it's past Sacramento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little far. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, I was at fucking Great America, and I looked at my phone when he sent me the address. I was all, uh, yeah, I'm hour. not going. Did you see that video of that kid falling out of that fucking? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, geez, that's scarred. I immediately got videos. in line for drop zone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm just fucking. Thank that was so messed up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course, Appreciate my guy. It. Yeah, of course. That was a fucking 